What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. The second of the day, we are back. BKFC 42, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Friday night. Happy Friday, everyone. The NHL Stanley Cup playoffs are going on. BKFC is going on. Appreciate every single one of you who joined us earlier today on the Bellator stream and who are joining us tonight for BKFC 42 main card. Three fights in the prelims, three finishes. Unbelievable stuff, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and of course, interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. A little MMA earlier today. Now we're now we're here for one of my favorite guilty pleasures in in life right now, and that is bare knuckle boxing. I love it a thousand times better than actual boxing. And yes, we are doing a little ESPN top rank boxing tomorrow night, but that's just because we can. And I'm a junkie, and I love a fight junkie that is, and I just love watching combat sports. The leopard print shorts. Oh my goodness. As uh, Pharrell enters the cage. Okay. Pharrell making his BKFC debut in the blue corner. Uh, Sheev, zero and one in the promotion. Let's take a look and just see if either of these guys have any other fighting experience. Cole Pharrell, 30 years old, out of Atlanta, Georgia. He actually had a pro MMA record of 11 and one, if you can believe it. Three KO, TKO, eight submission, zero decision. 6-0 in Valor fights. His last fight was actually in 2022. At the end of 2022, an MFC rewon won via uh, TKO in the first round. So despite having eight submissions, he's joining BKFC now. Cole Farrell, 11 and 1 pro MMA career. Uh, Cody Shive, Cody Sheave, 28 years old out of Indiana. Uh, 1 and 10 pro MMA record. Ooh, talk about opposite. Uh, one and four in Coloss Coliseum combat. He's also zero and one in BKFC. He's currently on a two, four fight losing streak in MMA and a one fight losing streak in BKFC. Looking to turn that around though and get back into the win column is uh, Cody, the lightning. Sheev, that's how you say his last name. I'm going for uh, Cole Farrell on this one, locking it in. Now, maybe Sheev is a little bit more of a brawler, but Mr. Forehead here out of Atlanta, Georgia, Cole Farrell. He may have a huge forehead, but the guy can scrap, and the guy is... And again, MMA is different than BKFC, but 11-1 and one versus 1-10. One and 10. One can fight, one can't in my mind. I'm going with Farrell making his debut here, getting his win, his first win in his BKFC debut. That is my prediction, locking it in. Locking it in. Let me know yours in the live chat, folks. Peanuts, my man, Peanuts. It's been a while, brother. How are you? Are you done school? Like, what, what's going on, Peanuts? How are you, brother? It's been a, it's been a few weeks. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Much happier to be at home. Uh, clown world at the ACC. Absolutely, absolutely. Foul one. Oh my goodness, right off the back here. I was going to say good luck tonight, but you know, fuck the Leafs. Um, at least they made it to the second round, though. Right off the bat here. First 10 seconds in there. Went at it here. Frell in the blue corner. In <laughs> the leopard print shorts. It's hilarious. Sheev in the red. In the black shorts. Oh, and a nice left hand by Sheev, but he got cranked by counter. Left by Frell. Frell with a nice right. Frell with a flurry of shots here. Couple shots by Sheev. When they were clinched. Oh, and a nice counter left hand by Cody Sheevy, but Pharrell with a couple blows and knocks down Sheevy. Sheevy's going to get the count. It's good to see you, Peanuts. It's good to see you, Foul One. Shout out to everyone joining. Yeah, let me know your predictions throughout these fights. All right, getting the first count is Sheevy back at it. 55 seconds left in the first round. Nice right hand by Pharrell, followed by a left. Oh, Frell is just throwing to end this, folks. Throwing to end this. Caution to the win. A few good shots there. I don't know if it was a left that connected, but Shivi falls to the ground. Just chilling at home right now. 
Thoughts on USA smacking Finland four to one. I expect better from Finland, but there are a bunch of NHL players on that team right now. Body shots by Farrell. This could be it in the end of the first round. This could be a 25 seconds left and Farrell's just swinging with ill intent and Chevy falls to the ground again, folks. That's the third. I, I believe it's four knockdowns in BKFC. He goes a TKO. I expect better from Finland. Hey, Canada's team is not that good in the World Championship right now, but the U.S. is pretty good. Right hand by Pharrell again. How is Shivi even going to last this round? Two left hands connected on Shivi, and he goes down right at the end of the round. Was that not the fourth knockdown? He cannot be saved by the bell. He has to get the count after. Was that not four? Elects not to count end of the first one. I thought I got knocked down four times. I don't know. BKFC is crazy. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Um, again, I have Pharrell winning this one. He had a dominant first round here. Again, Peanuts, it's awesome to see you here. For those who don't know Foul One, Peanuts um, supported me when I did some hockey content back in the day for THPN. Kind of migrated over here and uh, continued to support us here on the channel, the City Light Project YouTube channel, so I appreciate it. By the way, uh, uh, sorry, Max Canones, if you are watching right now, my apologies. I will text you back after the stream. It's been a crazy day, buddy. It's been a crazy day. Max Canones and I, we're linking up tomorrow. We're going to record episode two of the City Life podcast. So check that out if you haven't already. First episode featuring Hannah Rose. Special happy birthday to Hannah Rose this weekend as well. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. All right. One minute, 51 seconds in the second round. Nice right hand by Shivey. They're just throwing with ill intent here, and a left hand lands clean. Okay, yeah, that's a clear third knockdown. I thought that was, like, number five at this point, but okay, that's the clear third knockdown. This is the broadcast there. I thought he was down and out for a second, bleeding from the mouth. One minute, 30 seconds left in the second round here. And again, Frell's just dominating. Shivi right now. Right, left, right, and Shivi back to the ground. I think it's over. I think he waved. It's over. It is over, I ladies and gentlemen. It. It and there you go. There you go. Right out of the gate, another TKO. What is that? Four in a row if we include the prelims, ladies and gentlemen. Cole Farrell making his BKFC debut. Cody Shivi, he looks like he's hurt right now. Can't even get up off the canvas. <laughs> look at that. Look at that, Cole Farrell. I'm hungry. Again, 11 and 1 in his pro MMA career. All by finish. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that. Look at this guy. He's got a chin and he can throw them. I mean, throw technique out the window and let's just throw some bombs, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even realize the world champs started today. There's been no coverage here. There's been a little bit on my TSN app, but there's been little to no coverage here in the States either. TSN at least cares a little bit more about the world championship. ESPN could give a fuck about that shit. Canada never does well in the world. Spangler is always fun. though. Yes, yeah, Spangler Cup is where it's at. Um, world championship, yeah, because Canada's never expected to do that well. And let's be honest, there's so many good Canadians who are playing in the playoffs and or nursing injuries because they carry their teams in the regular season. Ayo! 46 strikes for Cole Farrell, 73 attempts, 63% accuracy, only 26 strikes landed for Cody Sheevy. Cole Farrell, there's levels to this, baby. Like I said, like I said. Going 0-2 and two in the promotion is Cody Sheevy now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's move on to the next fight here. I love all everyone on these BKFC like pictures. They just look like absolute savages. Hermek. One and two in the promotion, zero and one for Carson. Let's take a look at these guys in just a moment. Oh, good display of respect here by the young Shivi pointing at his opponent. A little shiner under the right eye of Shivi. <laughs> Shivi recognizes that this guy's an absolute beast, goes and lifts his arm up. Good display of respect here. Looks like Shivi was almost, he's just like, that was crazy. We were throwing, woo. So Shivi, he's a little punk. He's a little scrapper. Maybe we'll see him again. Maybe he'll go zero and three or one and two in the promotion. We shall see. 
Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment-driven live stream. If you're viewing from either Twitch or Facebook, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. This is our main destination for streaming, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're new to the channel, we do like play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We do up to six fight companions every single weekend. Live play-by-play -play commentary reaction, like I said. Very excited to be here today. Um, Oh, my goodness. It just, like, I'm not even, like, coming off a high because we're watching BKFC right now. If anything, like, I'm, I'm getting back to that high there. But it wasn't even that the Bellator card was, was anything special. It's just we had so many people in the live chat. It was amazing. It was... I mean, when you got like over 100 people up to 250 people, which we had, and we got like comments coming left, right, and center, I'm just like, I mean, almost in like work mode. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I remember the card, but I remember it not being the greatest card. I remember more about the live chat where it's like an event like this, you know, we got 15 odd people in the live chat watching here. L sit back, relax, crack a cold one and watch some guys bare knucks punch each other in the face. Now, if you don't have a place to watch this, I'm watching the BKFC app. I subscribe $5 a month. Um, if you need a place to watch this, ask the chat. If you need me to do more focus play by play, I can do that as well. Over a hundred likes on that video as well. Shout out to everybody. It, it's funny. Every now and then we'll have a big Bellator event that hits Bellator Dublin. I think we got like 10,000 views. Uh, obviously the Bellator versus Ryzen. Um, anytime uh, McKee fights. Shout out to you, Benjamin, one of our exclusive members. How's it going, buddy? Falwin, how's your new job going, by the way, uh, man? I haven't asked you in a little while. Do you have to watch the TNT coverage for hockey? No, I, I mean, I have... I'm spoiled, my roommates. They got options. Um, I've been primarily... been I've been primarily watching ESPN. Um, which, I like the TNT coverage better. I cannot stand Bucci Gross. PK Subban's okay. Ryan Callahan is good. Weeks is getting a little full of himself right now, if I'm perfectly honest. But uh, if I can, if I can, and if it's accessible, I'll watch TNT. If not, it's mostly ESPN. I believe so, Francisco. If not, ask Foul One. I'm watching the BKFC app. I subscribe on the BKFC app, so I, I honestly don't know if they're showing it on the other one. Uh, double check, Francisco, and if not, ask Foul One. Maybe he can hook you up. Prelims were great. Yes, three knockouts, three prelims. And in the first fight on the main card, we got a TKO early in the second round as well. It's good to see you, Diego. How's the rest of your day been? Again, happy Friday, everyone. Crack a cold one. If you divulge, if not, whatever you're drinking with it, whatever you're celebrating the end of the weekend with, cheers to you. Uh, this one, by the way, Back Channel Brewing, um, Super Troopers collaboration. This is the Ursula, their 420 drop. Shout out to them. Uh, they are showing it. There we go. There we go. Good evening, everyone. Chat is nice and chill now. Yeah, that was a little crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. It was fun, and I will always take a lot of viewers. But every now and then, it's good just to sit back with the regulars here. Now, if I would have probably started at the prelims, and then everyone realized, oh, shit, the prelims are done, they would migrate over here. Because that's what we've done. Usually, when I start at the prelims of BKFC, as soon as the prelims are done, like, we get, like, a wave of, like, 30 to 40 people who jump over here. By the way, the last time we did BKFC, I'm pretty sure it was Knuckle Mania 3, and we had BKFC, the actual YouTube account, jump in the chat and say what's up. They love what we're doing, unlike LFA, who blocked me on Twitter. What the fuck, LFA? No more France talk. Yeah, that shit got heated. I feel like, uh, upon reflection, I may have stoked the fire a bit, Benjamin. Not intentionally. But sometimes I just forget that I'm talking to hundreds of people. And I just think it's this little camera and this little mic as I watch BKFC. But yes, a lot more chill now. Uh, I know you don't drink, Benjamin, but uh, cheers to you, man. Hope you had a good week. Thank you so much for the support, as always. I am starting my day off tomorrow, Benjamin, with a two-for-one Chick-fil-A breakfast sandwich. I have some coupons. I cannot wait to go ham with the Chick-fil-A. Um, too early to try the spicy chicken, but I do want to try the spicy chicken eventually as well. Okay, let's highlight the next two fighters here as they make their way into the cage. Carson versus Hermrek. Hermrek is making his walk to the ring here. I do like this ring. 
Oh, actually, no, they're both in. They're being announced in the ring right now. Okay, let me quickly do, 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 see if we can find them on Tapology. Everything's out of order in Tapology, which is really annoying. Uh, Tapology doesn't even have them listed. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it does. Just Hermrick isn't listed. Anyways, you guys just saw you just you just saw his record. Uh Truck on Carson. Truck on Carson, the Carolina game dog. All right, I'm betting on this guy. Pro MMA record of two and oh. He's zero and one in the promotion. Hermrick one and two in the promotion. The squared circle. I'm going with Carson, locking it in. That's my pick. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. So it's supposed to be Tim Hester fighting this evening, but he had to be pulled. So now we have Truken Car Truken Carson. I'll raise up a cup of coffee. Cheers, brother. Cheers. I had way too much coffee today and it's getting late. So I actually need to sleep a little bit tonight. We got a big day of streaming tomorrow as well. Undecided. Undecided. All right, round one. Let's, Let's get it on. Get it oh, my God. Right out of the gate. Carson with some huge left hands going for the clinch. And Carson is just draining the gas tank seemingly right off the bat here. This is absolutely insane. This is what's so different from slow pace Bellator. Going from slow pace Bellator to BKFC. I didn't even have enough time to highlight the ticker on the bottom of the screen. We'll do that in the next round, folks, because now Hermrick is moving forward. Look at the difference in body types between these guys. It doesn't matter. It's bare knucks. It's bare next. Nice straight left hand. Nice left cross by Carson. He knocks down Hermrick and then above him starts talking trash. That was insane. That was insane. Uh, what do you think I should get, Benjamin? Oh, and Carson is just walking forward. Didn't quite drop Hermrick there, but Hermrick is bleeding on the right side of his eye. Right hand, perfect right hand by Carson drops Hermrick again. I don't even know if it's worth updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen because this fight is going to be over very, very soon. I'm out right now. The doctor's going to check on his cut. Hermrick, one and two in the promotion. He's getting outclassed here, folks, early in this round. I highly recommend chicken, egg, and cheese muffin and egg white grill muffin. Done. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. What's up, Habib? How are you? Habib, you going to be joining us for UFC tomorrow? And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It is all over. It is all over. Just like that. And a well-deserved victory as Carson came out swinging. Looks like Carson came to apologize and show respect to his opponent upon yelling over his mangled body after knocking him down a few times. Hermrick, one and three now in the promotion. Carson, and even one and one. Carson came out with a mother fucking vengeance, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. I think tomorrow's going to be a sleeper card. I don't think it's going to be a bad card tomorrow. Now, do I think it's going to be anything excellent? No, but I th there are some really, really good fights on that UFC card tomorrow. Oh, man. Carson with some beautiful left hands here. The guy had perfect form, too. Nice right hand right on the temple. My goodness. Great fight there by Carson. Absolutely beat up Hermrick, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crazy. Crazy. Just like that. Just like that, we are two fights in. 23 minutes into this main card, and we are two fights in, two knockouts. I love BKFC. And again, it wasn't the most exciting Bellator card earlier, but a big shout out to everyone who joined us. I mean, we got like 80 subscribers from that one stream. That is amazing, folks. I cannot thank you enough. We are so close to 4,800. Then that, that, that's only 200 away from 5,000. That is crazy. All right, being announced in the center of the ring as the winner is Carlson. What is up, Professor Chaos? One of our exclusive members on the channel. What is up, Chaos? We have a ton of members in the chat here today. Professor Chaos, it's good to see you. We were actually talking about you earlier. We had a new betting expert 
uh, in the chat earlier for Bellator, Bellator Paris, Sasha, Sasha and Mike Jones got to know each other and started, you know, building some rapport. And we were like, oh man, we, we wish Professor Chaos was here because you guys are the betting experts on the channel. It's good to see you, Professor Chaos. I did not know BKFC had an event tonight. Yes. So I believe this was the event that was canceled a few weekends ago. So they rebooked for this one. I think that's the case anyways. Can't wait to see Sherman to get fucking slammed 80 feet in the air. Oh, wow. Chase Sherman. All right, on to this next fight. Damn, what a cut. Yeah, enough to stop the fight indeed. Shout out to you, Diego. You joined us earlier today as well. I appreciate you, buddy. All right, I'm going to actually update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. We have Dustin uh, Peg. Dustin Peg. Against Wade Johnson. Looks like Dustin Pegg actually fought in the UFC as well. I know I'm I know I'm mispronouncing his name, folks. So my apologies for that. Let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and we'll get right into this next fight. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. BKFC Greenville, South Carolina, BKFC 42, making their debut in Greenville. All right, there's a little uh little promo video for I believe it's the co-main event of the evening. One of these fights coming up here anyways, folks, or the main event of the evening. Um, Let me know your predictions for this next fight, folks, and we'll highlight it in just a moment. Keep the comments coming. It's comment-driven live stream. Shout out to Diego, Habib, Professor Chaos, one of our exclusive members, Benjamin, one of our exclusive members. Highly recommend in the chicken, egg, and cheese muffin and egg white grilled muffin. God damn, I cannot wait to have Chick-fil-A for breakfast tomorrow. Um, but uh, foul one, Diego Francisco Peanuts, our buddy from Finland, man. Fucking love you, Peanuts. It's good to see you. Greenville, right? Greenville. My apologies. My apologies. Got to add a little southern accent to that sheet. All right. So, BKFC, things are moving way too quickly for their uh, broadcast here that they're taking a little bit of a break and they're interviewing some of the fighters who are coming up on the card. So let let let's do a little uh let's do do a little highlight here. Dustin Peg again. I'm uh, how do I pronounce his last name? Uh, Benjamin against Wade Johnson. Dustin dis disciple the disciple. Thirty five years old out of Virginia. Twelve and eleven in his pro MMA career. Three KO, TKO, nine submissions, zero decision. He's one and five in the UFC between 2011 and 2013. He fought six times in the promotion. He beat Eddie Hawk in BKFC first round TKO in 45 seconds. He lost to Jake Young uh, in BKFC before that. So he's one and one in the promotion. Uh, he took a little time off uh, MMA to do some boxing, and now he's finding a home with BKFC. Uh, oh, right. He was on the Ultimate Fighter Season 14. He actually lost to TJ Dillashaw in the uh, semifinals of the Ultimate Fighter Season 14. He lost in the finale to John Albert, then was signed to the UFC, beat Jared Papadzian via Rene Kachoko on UFC on Fox 3, and then went on a four-fight losing streak in the promotion, lost in some random promotion he went to in 2014. Uh, one lost, one lost, one in BKFC, and is back here again. Is Dustin Pegg looking at his opponent, Wade Johnson, the hammer? Wade Johnson, 32 years of age, out of Arkansas. And oh, yeah, he's got those camo shorts, baby. 12 and 3 is his pro MMA record. 5 KO, TKO, 3 submission, 4 decisions. 1-0 in Bellator, 1-0 in World Series of Fighting. He last fought in MMA in 2022, actually, in Sheet in September of 2022, uh, in NWFA Battle of Batesville. He beat a 3-3 three three guy. Again, he's 11-3. Uh, he beat Nathan Mitchell in BKFC Fight Night back in 2022. Uh, he won in the 5th round via TKO. Lost in Cage Warriors in 2021. Lost in uh, pyramid fights in 2017 uh, last fall in Bellator and World Series of Fighting 2016 so looks like he last fall in 2017 took some time off came back in 2021 in MMA lost and said fuck this we'll just go some BKFC got his confidence back fought in a lower promotion MMA 
Now coming back to BKFC. Hmm. Despite Dustin look, looking like he's on Paolo Costa's secret juice, I'm going against the grain here. I'm going Johnson, locking it in. In the camo shorts, baby. You better give me those camo shorts. Uh, da, 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 da. Anybody rooting for anyone on Tough later this month? I have to check out the roster again, but I'm excited to watch it. Benjamin, we're going to be doing Fight Companions for Tough. Every episode that airs on ESPN, we are going to be watching it as it airs live together on this channel. That is right. If that doesn't garner Jamaican horns, I don't know what does. All right, so Dustin is 100% on the secret juice here. I think I made the wrong pick, but that's okay. I'm standing by it. Uh, Austin Hubbard. Oh, Austin Hubbard's on? Right, they're bringing back uh, former UFC fighters as well. Let me check out the roster. Let me check out the roster. Oh, walking out to return to the Mac. Oh my God, I I picked the wrong guy. This would be probably one of my top three walkout songs. Return of the Mac. I, I listen to this song. It's on my workout playlist, funny enough. But not when I'm running, only when I'm lifting weights. I don't know why. What's up, Hockey from Home? How was your day? Happy Friday. How do you feel about brown beers, Isha? Like brown ales? I like brown ales. Are you about to crack one? I, this one's a very hazy IPA, as you can see. Happy Friday, fuckers. Britt and I checking in. Shout out, Brian and Brittany. Happy Friday, fuckers. Drinking a hazy IPA here. Brian, this is actually from a brewery out in Minnesota. If you guys come out to the Twin Cities, by the way, I can't wait to show you around and take you to a bunch of cool breweries. This one, our friends at Back Channel Brewing. Shout out Back Channel Brewing. This was in collaboration with some of the cast from Super Troopers. This is the Ursula 420 Special. I like sweet tea. That's brown. Um, I am a huge tea drinker as well, Benjamin, believe it or not. College kind of made me go, made me addicted to coffee, but uh, Persian heritage and my mom's a fucking hippie. And I, I say that with love, mom. I shouldn't have used, I should have dropped the F-bomb before that. I love you, mom. Um, so she's a huge like herbal herbal tea drinker. My dad has some of the best like oh, black and red teas on this planet. So a huge tea drinker myself. I just like too much caffeine, man. I can't drink tea at night anymore because most of the teas I like have a lot of caffeine. Terrible because I have an 8 a.m. Eastern class on Friday. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm glad tomorrow it's Saturday and you can sleep in. Coffee is brown, too. That's good stuff, dude. Uh, coffee is the one drug I do not think I could give up. Not that I even do any other drugs, folks. I don't do any dr other drugs, by the way. Cannabis is medicine. It's not a drug. Uh, <laughs> caffeine. Like, I, I don't know what I would do. Like, honest, people say, look off oh, the word. Joe Rogan said the world's sugar supply was cut off. You know, tomorrow we'd all like just go crazy. Sure. I think I would still go through bigger withdrawals with caffeine than sugar. Cause I, I probably ingest more caffeine than I do sugar. Uh, it's Saturday tomorrow. Hockey from home. Yeah. We will come for LFA up there. Absolutely. I cannot wait. I had the terrible from uni brew today for the first time. 10 and a half percent brown caramel malt beer. Can't share the link. I will bookmark that, as that is awesome. All right, round one in this next fight, folks. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. That sounds amazing, by the way. Do you like barrel aid stuff? Professor Chaos? Immediately cut is Dustin here. Nice right hand by Johnson. And Johnson, a little bit lankier here. Very different body types here, but this is BKFC. Nice left hand, and he drops Dustin. Johnson in the red corner. Dustin in the blue. I picked Johnson to win, ladies and gentlemen. Britt said green tea. I do love the green tea as well. I was before this. I turned it off just because everything's through Wi-Fi and I didn't want to mess up the stream here. Oh, a nice right hand by Dustin. Dustin's bleeding. He was dropped one minute into this first round. Isha, have you ever had Southern sweet tea? So I have, but I haven't been, I haven't been to the South. So I don't feel like I actually have had it. Like I've gone to like a barbecue joint and I've had like their Southern sweet tea. Uh, my cousins from Texas have made me 
Southern sweet tea when they came to visit me. But I haven't had it from the South. So yes, I've had it. It's like what we have in Canada. In Canada, our iced tea is like Southern sweet tea. Nope, I can't sleep in. Yeah, I just picked up smoke for tonight. Intergalactic Kush, let's go. Smoke them if you got them, folks. 21 seconds left in this first round. Again, solid round by Johnson. Dropping Dustin Peg and getting and cutting him right next left, right next to his nose, left side. At church watching Feist, blasphemous. Ooh, left hand by Dustin, but finishing the round strong is Johnson. Johnson has a little cut on the left side of his eye as well. Hockey from home. You're at church on a Friday evening. Melkor, you lol. You lol. Hey, by the way, anyone joining us on Facebook and Twitch, please, my, I, think there's two, I see there's two of you on Facebook. If you're on Facebook right now, please come over to the City Life Project on YouTube. Facebook is not our primary streaming destination. It is our backup streaming destination. Um, We weren't able to stream on YouTube last week, so we streamed on our backup platforms, which is Twitch and Facebook, but... We are streaming both on Twitch and Facebook this weekend. Just to tell you folks one last time that YouTube is the primary destination. Come over and subscribe to the channel, The City Life Project. Do I like what? Didn't didn't understand you there. Do you like barrel-aged beers? So like barrel-aged stouts, like whiskey barrel-aged or wine barrel-aged stouts. The percentage usually is jacked up to about like between anywhere between 12 and 16 percent very very rich rich beers i absolutely love them round two ladies and gentlemen let's get it all i got a few cellared professor chaos and i have and and if you're interested i have a video on them that we recorded recorded with my other podcast uh professor chaos around two one minute 31 seconds left in this round johnson i think with despite not being as jacked despite not being on the secret juice oh and Dustin just dropped Johnson there. I was saying, despite not being on the secret juice, despite being a little bit more doughy, was looking like the better fighter early in this fight as he dropped Dustin in the first round. Dustin just dropped Johnson in the second here. One minute left in the second round. Each of them have dropped each other. Again, Johnson turning out of Arkansas. You better give me those camo shorts. Ooh, a nice right hand by Johnson. Good left hand by Dustin and another right by Dustin. He dropped Johnson again, ladies and gentlemen. Johnson dropped twice in this round. Dropped twice in this round thus far. And now he's leaking from that right side. I'll get right back to the comments here in a sec, folks. Just trying to get a video here. I want to send a video here to uh, Professor Kess. Nice right hand by Dustin. Johnson's getting a little too crazy right here. Just thrown with the antenna right hand by Dustin again. And he drops Johnson in unbelievably devastating fashion. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Wait, that was the end of the round? There's 22 seconds left on the clock, though. No, that's it. That's a win. That's a win. Dustin wins this one. Shout out. Wait, was this the end of the... I'm very confused, folks. I'm very confused. Dustin doesn't look like he's excited. Doesn't look like he is celebrating a win here. Okay, it has to be over here. It has to be over. Dustin just didn't celebrate at all. That's why I was confused. But yes, this fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. Starting out strong was Johnson. He now has a record of one and one, whereas Dustin Peg, again, I, I, I feel like I'm butchering his last name, uh, increases his record to two and one in the promotion. Um, I'll get right back to the comments in a sec, but I'm looking for a video to send you. You can watch it later, sir. Um, we actually collaborated with, oh, here it is. So this is the series here. There's a brewery here in Minnesota called Lupulin, and they do an event every week called Big Beer Week where they only release limited barrel-aged stouts every single day for uh, eight days straight, and every beer is 10% and up. So check it out, guys. We sat down and had an interview with them and tried 
like 10 of those beers. We got pretty tuned up. It, it was a lot of fun. Uh, just posted it in the live chat. Uh, See you later, hockey from home. Have a great evening. You can get some good Southern sweet tea from Chick-fil-A. They're a little syrupy, though. McDonald's sweet tea, at least down here, is the best. Okay, I'll try some of Chick-fil-A. I don't think McDonald's has them in Minnesota. <laughs> Where does smoke them if you got them come from? I've always wondered. I mean, I think I first heard it, heard it from like a Cheech and Chong sh like comedy show. But uh, it's been around for a while, that saying. All right, being announced as the winner is Dustin here in the center of the ring. The so the term originated in the trenches and foxholes of World War II with the ranking person walking along the perimeters telling soldiers, in effect, nothing is likely to happen for a while. Smoke them if you got them. So it wasn't even a weed reference. Wow. See, that's some knowledge I thought Benjamin would have dropped on us. But how about that, Benjamin? How about some knowledge of some... American history knowledge that I've been dropping on you guys there. Wow. That was cool. Thank you for asking where that came from or else I would have never Googled that or learned that. Well, 12 to 16 is high. I don't think I ever had that. I'm a big fan of stouts. Okay. Since you are a big fan of stouts, give me one sec, folks. I'm going to be right back in two seconds here. I got something to show you. I've had this baby cellared for a few months now. This is the duck, 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 duck. 11.5% <laughs> uh, Imperial Barrel Age Stout in Blanton Bourbon Barrel. In Blanton Bourbon Barrels for three years now. This is from Back Channel Brewing as well. And I got a few empty bottles over there. Dude, the barrel age shit is where it is at. Okay, I'll be right back. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Does BKFC have three knockdown rule? Four. But <laughs> foul one. Four. And I say that very, very loosely because in the first fight on the main card, the guy was knocked down six times, but the official only ruled three of those six knockdowns an actual knockdown. How much is that worth, that bottle? Well, I got that one as a gift. Usually you can get barrel-aged beers for about 15 to 25 bucks, I will say, for the bottle. Would love to try. Hey, Professor Chaos, whenever I'm back in Canada, if you're ever down here in the States, I got a few bottles cellar that I'm just waiting for the right time. Um, I'll crack a couple with you, my man. And again, I have a beer and hockey podcast, guys, called The Soda Pod, and I... We're in the good books with a ton of Minnesota breweries, so we get a ton of beers to try. We get a bunch of their featured beers, and they all have amazing barrel-age programs. Here in the United States, especially in Minnesota, we're like, here anyways, they're like 10 years ahead of Canada and even BC, who are like the hipster capital of you know, craft beer in Canada. Shoot, man, Minnesota's 10 years ahead of them on the barrel-aging programs. I tried a barrel aged uh, cigar when I used to smoke, and I was not a fan. Yeah, I don't know if I would like the barrel aged cigar. Um, with with imperial stouts, which are pretty rich, anyways, it just adds like an almost like an extra thick. It, it makes it a little bit thicker. It adds just like a whole extra element to it, and especially like the one I had there is just a straight uh, Blanton's uh, imperial stout uh, or imperial stout aged in a Blanton barrel. I've had some, like some of the bottles that I've saved here, peanut butter and marshmallow Imperial barrel aged stout, 16%. So you get that like whiskey kick. And I know Benjamin doesn't drink, but that, you get that whiskey kick and flavors that you might find in an Imperial stout. Plus the extra sweetness. Oh my goodness. Oh my 
God. Those are not bottles you can tackle by yourself. If I tackled that whole bottle, I'd be buckled. I wouldn't be able to stream. I'd get us canceled on YouTube. The taste of oak is not for me. Fair enough. And I know a lot of people don't like, um, uh, don't like, like scotch, for example, because of like the smokiness that comes with it. Like, I had Lagavulin for the first time a two years ago. There's a video on our YouTube channel of Kyle and I uh, and Tim sipping on some, I think it was early when we started this channel, the New Year's of 2022. So bringing in 2022, from 2021 to 22, 2022, we had a New Year's party and we sampled a ton of whiskeys. And uh, I imagine that that's an acquired taste. It wasn't that I didn't like the penis. It's like I'm just a very, very much a Japanese whiskey or rye type of guy. So the other end of the spectrum. Rick Cars uh, Caruso against Brandon Bouchaw is next, ladies and gentlemen. Nylander tied to that too? No way. Yeah, hit me up with the uh, the updates, foul one. Isha, if you can, you really need to make a trip down to Gatlinburg for some tastings. Dude, I want to explore a lot more of the United States than I have already. So I will make an effort to make it down south soon, buddy. 100%. Um, I, I can't wait. Now, I've seen a lot of the United States already. Like, I've been to various parts of Texas. Uh, I've seen a ton of, obviously, Washington on the West Coast. A lot of California. A lot of Nebraska. Uh, a lot of Minnesota now. Um, I, I'm missing so many states. There's just fucking so many of them. I've seen a lot of states, a lot of Oregon. I mean, obviously a lot of like the West Nevada, a lot of that Western side. I've seen a lot of, um, shoot. What's right next to fucking Washington. I'm such an idiot. Actually, I'm not an idiot. There's so many states and Americans don't even know how many provinces there are. Anyways. Um, I do want to make it down South. I want to have an extensive visit with my cousins in Texas and hit up, uh, hit up that whole belt there, baby. Eat some good food. Try some whiskey tastings. Smoke some good cigars. Have you visited Quebec? Oh, absolutely. Actually, uh, I used to spend summers in Quebec working with my aunt. She had a, like a child care center, and I used to be in child care, child and youth care. Um, so yeah, I used to work with my aunt in the summer there. My I've uh, my one aunt, I thought I had two aunts. No, one aunt. Um, when she escaped Iran during the revolution, or right before the revolution in seventy nine, she actually. <laughs> Immigrated to Quebec. So there you go. So I have two cousins there. They got some kids now. Um, traveled a ton of Quebec. Uh, Co Quebec City, northern Quebec. Hiked a few mountains in Quebec as well. And like, you know, more northern Quebec. And then, I mean, I mean, we rip on Quebec jokingly on this channel. But uh, Montreal is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Idaho, yes. Thank you. Thank you. That was dumb of me. I kept thinking Iowa, but that's just because I'm in Minnesota. Idaho, yes. Seen a ton of Idaho. Not there's like not there's as much to see in Idaho, but yes. Um, as Spokane, I I have some friends in Spokane, so we'd go to Idaho every now and then and hang out. Quebec has beautiful mountains. Have you tried moonshine? Yes, yes. Uh, so I had actually a friend. My friend's dad used to make moonshine. Um, shout out John Kayser, and uh, Brain Slap was what he called it. Apple pie moonshine. And he would make a batch with honey and a, and a, and a batch with uh, cane sugar. And oh my goodness, that should slap your brain. What was fun about it is you never knew how much alcohol was like some of the bottles, some batches, 40 to 60%. Some batches, 30 to 45%. So you never really knew how hard your brain got slapped and you were drinking the brain slap. Oh boy, was I popular that Christmas. I just bought a few boxes of it and was just like slanging it to my friends and or bringing that to parties oh the good old days of college but yes um very much a lot of craft distilleries on vancouver island go ham with the moonshine all right folks and just like that the next fight is upon us love the just the conversation here no pressure people yelling at me call the fight tisha call the fight just all you beauties hanging out we're talking about moonshine we're talking about beers happy friday ladies and gentlemen All right here. Caruso against Bouchaw, ladies and gentlemen. I will highlight the ticker on the bottom of the screen to reflect the rounds here in just a moment, and we'll get right into this. What are we at? Four fights now? Fourth fight on the card? All right. Round one. 
do, 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 do. All right, let's take a look at these guys too. Um, buh, 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 buh. Brandon Bouchaw, he's 41 years old, seven and six pro MMA, three KO, TKO, three and three in Warfare Fighting Championship. Won his last fight in BKFC, first round knockout. Looking at his opponent, Rick Caruso, 35 years old. Ooh. Pro MMA career of zero and four. He's never won as a pro. He lost his pro boxing match, and he's zero and three in BKFC. I'm going with the 40-year-old Bouchard, ladies and gentlemen, locking it in. And here we go, round one. Let's get it all! What a nice right hand to the body by Bouchard. Bouchard in the blue corner. Caruso in the red, ladies and gentlemen. You should be able to find some old smoky apple pie whiskey or moonshine somewhere near you. Yes, old smoky apple pie whiskey. That is, I've seen that on the shelves. And we got a ton of different types of moonshine here in Minnesota as well. Ooh, and a nice right hand by Caruso. Caruso, the taller and lankier fighter here. Bouchard doing a good job of covering up as he enters the pocket after throwing these overhand rights. One minute and 15 seconds left in the first round. Bouchard clinching right now, but a good job by Caruso getting some uppercuts in that clinch. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. We do live fight companions every single weekend. A lot more chill in this one. We're hanging out, sipping on some cold ones, watching some bare knucks, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate every single one of you who are watching. If you're watching on Facebook and Twitch, please migrate, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. 50 seconds left in this first round. Five rounds if needed, but they have not been needed at all this evening. Five straight fights, five straight knockouts, ladies and gentlemen. I always imagine Fargo when I think of Minnesota. Yeah, it's one of the stereotypes here. Even though Fargo's not even in Minnesota. Nice right hand by Caruso. Uppercut by Caruso. And a nice left hand by Caruso. That knocks down Bouchard. Uh, what is up, uh, Pharrell one, buddy, Pharrell one. Do me a favor, migrate over to YouTube. Oh, and another left hook by Caruso, and Bursa is down. Bursa is down, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time, he's getting his count. Pharrell one, buddy, and if you don't mind, please migrate over to YouTube and give us, and subscribe to the channel. We won't be streaming on Facebook much longer. It is our backup platform. All right, and that is the end of the first round. So two knockdowns by Caruso on Brandon Busaw here. I may have picked the wrong guy here. We are about to enter the second round. But yeah, I actually haven't been up to Fargo yet, but there's an awesome brewery up there. Um, that I'm really, and the, that I am very excited to go and visit. There's some of the best can art ever, called Drecker Brewing, Professor Chaos. Chaos, by the way, did you get the link that I sent earlier in the chat? Uh, that had the link to the, the whole barrel-aged video? Check that out sometime. Again, shout out to you, sir. Please come and subscribe to us on YouTube. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction, folks. On this channel, across the world of mixed martial arts and combat sports. Round two. Let's get it! Red corner for Caruso. Bouchard, blue corner. Nice. A couple of nice right hands by Caruso and some good body shots as well on Bouchard to knock him down twice in that first round. Caruso up around here going into the second. A nice short right hand by Bouchard. I mean, you look at the, the reach advantage that Caruso has here. Oh, and Caruso saying that he's punched in the back of the head by Bussaw here and laboring a little bit is Caruso. Fucking rights, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, so that channel, there, uh, there's a, a playlist on the channel called BrewTube. You'll see there's a lot of vlogging that I do, and it's less of the hockey 
uh podcast clips and actually some productions where we go into breweries and do stuff like that so check it out brother and let me know what you think i appreciate it we do talk uh, uh, about 70 percent hockey on the podcast about 30 percent beer speaking of i may need to crack another one here if we take a break caruso though laboring here taking the knee Caruso might not be able to continue, and he is winning this fight. Caruso shaking his head. I don't know if this guy is going to continue. This might be a DQ for Busaw here. Yeah, if he got hit in the back of the head, it has to be a DQ. And that is it for the fight. Wow. 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 Caruso up around, got two knockdowns, dropped Busa twice, body shot and left hook. And Busa cranked, cranked him in the back of the head. And clearly it did some damage as Caruso unable to continue. Cheers to you, buddy. I'm gonna crack I'm gonna crack another one here in a bit. Why not? It's Friday. Wow. You never want to see that, folks. You never want to see that. So it has to be a DQ because Caruso was up around. He was winning that first round. He's the one who said, you know, I need, you know, ouch, I got hit in the back that I need time. The official called it. So it looks like Bursa, based on his body language there, it looks like the official told him it was going to be a DQ, not a no contest. And hey, you ended the fight with an illegal blow within an illegal blow that is a disqualification there was no accident here there was no cut there was nothing to warrant a no contest a legal shot to the back of the head the opponent was up he was winning the fight unable to continue that's a disqualification ladies and gentlemen as shitty as it may be uh we'll await the official decision here in a moment we have one two three four five more fights on this card ladies and gentlemen Two great main events, in, or two great main events here: the, the, the headline event and the co-main event. We also have two very popular BKFC women's fighters coming up uh, after Loken and Allen and Richardson and Jenkins will be a good fight as well. So, not a bad BKFC card. I mean, other than this fight right here, which ended prematurely due to a disqualification, uh, it's been a damn good card thus far. All finishes. Oh, no contest. So both guys want to continue. They show each other a little bit of respect here. They had to stop the fight due to medical reasons. A good display of respect here. No animosity between either of them. Maybe we run it back at B at one of these later BKFC events. Yeah, so anyways, I guess it was in conversation with the... It wasn't like the fighter just gave up flat out, but... He was leaning that way. I, I They didn't show the replay of the hit. Let's see if it's... Oh, was that it? Was that it? I mean, I saw something in the replay there, but no, that wasn't it. That was the knockdown on Busa. I want to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, that was straight to the back of the dome. She, yep. Yeah. All right. Upon watching that, I agree. I'm eating some mashed hearts of palm with cheese, herbs, and chicken. It's freaking tasty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. I had some soul uh, with dill, garlic, and uh, what else do I have? And some baby carrots. That's what I had for dinner. Only protein and veggies. Very little carbs so far. That's why I'm spoiling myself tomorrow with some Chick-fil-A. I've been uh, working out like crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually going to go for a run after this event as well. Trying to get that six-pack back for summer, baby. I got like two in a little beer belly right now. Uh, Soul, S-O-L-E, my man. Lunatic Leafs Media. Lunatic Leaf Media. What is up, Lunatic Leaf Media? 
random spot to find you. How are your Leafs doing? I stopped watching the first period after BKFC started. How are you, lunatic Leaf media? This isn't foul one, is it? You guys make me hungry. All right, next fight here, folks. We have Loken against Allen. Allen is two and one in the promotion. Loken one and oh, we will highlight these fighters in just a moment. I will out and I'll go update the ticker on the bottom of the screen as well, so you folks can follow along each round. Dun, 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 dun. Where the hell is this fight? It's not even listed on Tapology. Interesting. This this fight's not even listed on Tapology. Funny enough. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. All right, fair enough. This fight's not even listed on Tapology. So, I will update the ticker myself. Do, 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 do. Shout out to everyone joining us live here. Have you been watching any other MMA this weekend? We streamed. What, what the hell did we stream yesterday? We streamed uh, Eris yesterday, and um, we did a little Bellator 296, I believe, in Paris. Not the best Bellator card. Not that there's that many good Bellator cards, let's be perfectly honest. Um, but it was a fun Eris card the day before, and I mean, the chat was buzzing earlier today. Really appreciate all the supporters who joined us. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So excited to have you folks hanging out here for some BKFC. I love BKFC. I don't even want to call it a guilty pleasure anymore. It's just one of my pleasures in life. It's one of the things I look forward to the most. BKFC. I never heard of soul. Does it taste like flounder? I've never had flounder. <laughs> Does it taste like soul? Um, it's like a poor man's halibut, but still pretty good. It, it, I mean, it's, it's one of those fish that you don't have to season too, too much. Cause it's not just like bad smoked fried, whatever by itself. I just put a little bit of lemon juice. Uh, I put some garlic and dill with, and I just kind of base it a little bit. Um, as I get, as I get it a little crispy on the cast iron. We just struggle at home in Toronto. Like, I don't know why. Dude, Florida's just on one of those runs. Every year in the Stanley Cup playoffs, there's always just that one team that everyone's like, oh yeah, you just kind of snuck your way in here. You know, you, you don't deserve to be here with the big boys. And they just go on a run taking out the Boston Bruins. And now looking very, very good against the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's absolutely insane. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. Or Vancouver Island, British Columbia originally. So I'm a Canucks fan. Can't say I'm a fan of Toronto sports as well. Foul one's just like pulling his hair right now, spitting his beer out, going, <clears throat> you think? It's true. I'm not a Toronto sports fan at all. So I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of rooting for the Panthers. Uh, but lunatic leaf media, you sound like you're a good uh, guy, good girl, good guy, gal. I'm assuming, I'm assuming your gender, whatever. I'm assuming you're good people. Hope you're having a great evening tonight. What's the score, lunatic leaf media? Trade Komaserik. Remember he used to be the scapegoat? Yep. <laughs> Flounder's like a smaller brown halibut. Okay. Flounder's really fun to catch. Kyle is the, the big fisherman on the channel. Him and Tim, as you as you folks know. Kyle apparently has a bunch of fishing vlogs coming, uh, dropping soon, folks. All right, making their walkouts to the ring right now, Alan and Loken. I've never been cold enough to catch halibut. Fair enough. As Kyle and Tim go out, even in the winter, in the Pacific Ocean to catch halibut. But winter in the Pacific Northwest, I mean, you can still go on the boat out ocean fishing in December. It's a beautiful thing. But okay, it sounds like, you know, we kind of got an idea of, of what it is. Um, but yeah, Benjamin, you inspired me, brother. Getting back in shape, getting back in shape. <laughs> At the end of the summer, I'll show off my six pack. I'll show off my six pack. I'll look, I'll look more jacked than some of these guys who've been who cut weight and who looked unbelievably shredded and near death. I, I won't look near death, but you know what I mean. And you guys can see all that hard work paying off. And then we'll hibernate for another cold winter in Minnesota and I'll, I'll gain that beer belly right back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Uh but yeah, Lunatic Leaf Media, it's good to see you. Happy that you can join us here in the chat. Are you a fan of uh, Bare Knuckle FC and or Combat Sports? Lunatic Leaf Media? 
Go for the Zabit look. <laughs> Funny enough, I, 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 I'm I not that lanky. I may be a uh, hairy and, you know, brown, <laughs> but I ain't like that. I'm, I'm, I'm as hairy as a beat. I'm not as like lanky and skinny. I actually like when I'm in shape, I actually like, I got to, I got a good like fire hydrogen type shape. I got a good Eddie Alvarez thing going on again when I'm actually in good shape and I'm 30 now. I don't got that 20 year old body anymore. You know, it's harder now than ever to get back in shape <laughs> to get absolutely ripped. Dude, when I was in my 20, when I was like 25 in my peak, Give me like a month and a half, absolutely shredded. And like, I'm pretty disciplined with what I eat. And I like, I really enjoy working out and running and going crazy like that shit. Hill sprints and stuff. I love it. Like, I'm just, I'm a freak. I like physical activity. That's just my thing. I always like, even though I engage in the hippie lettuce, I'm one of those freaks who's like, unlike my friends who are like sitting on the couch, man, you want to get up off the couch, man? I'm like, yeah, let's go run a couple miles. Like, I'm just that freak. I'm an American Leafs fan, and people said that makes no sense. Like, bro, let me root for my Leafs. So absolutely, brother. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I respect that. I respect that. I'm a little UFC fan. Sweet, buddy. Well, this channel, welcome to the channel. We do fight companions for all sorts of fight promotions outside of the UFC, UFC, Cage Warriors, uh, Bellator, PFL, and right now we're doing BKFC, which is bare knuckle. Really appreciate you joining the channel. We are hockey fans here. There's a lot of Canadians and Americans alike in the chat, but that is cool. I will say, I can't stand the least because I've had Toronto sports and Toronto media shoved down my throat my entire life living in Western Canada. TSN and sports that doesn't care about anything but Toronto sports in Canada. So that's why I'm like, it's ingrained in me as a Canadian outside of Ontario to hate the Leafs. But I respect that you like a Canadian team, and you're living in the States. That's pretty fucking cool, man. I love playing tennis in the summer. Yes, I love fucking tennis. I, I just love... I love swimming. I love camping, tennis. Um, frisbee golf now is a fun one. Running. Biking. I'm a huge biker, mountain biker, and cyclist. Apparently, there's also something called Turbot. It's summer soul and flounder. Okay, okay. So there you go. There you go. Do a little Google in there. You're a little interested on the taste of soul there, Benjamin. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, which the broadcasters are saying this potentially might be fight of the night. Round one, Loken Allen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Straight left jab misses by Loken in the blue corner. Allen in the red. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Nice right hand by Loken. Counter right by Allen. Allen with a wide stance here. Couple feints trying to lad that straight left jab. Good head movement by Allen early. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left hand by Loken. Allen may have landed a left hook as well. Nice straight left jab by Loken. A lot more cool and collected. That's the thing. Like on the prelims and first few fights on the main card, there's just these crazy brawlers just going swing and no technique or anything. These guys, a little bit of technique here. This is a chess match. This is a good fight. One minute in, straight left jab by Loke and a beautiful right cross by Allen. In Seattle, they were Canucks fans before the Kraken came in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, my family's from Seattle and I'm from Vancouver Island, actually. So I know that well, I know that well. And it's just like people in Vancouver are Seahawks fans and Mariners fans, not necessarily Blue Jays fans. Fuck the Blue Jays. Beautiful left hand by Loken, but Allen lands a counter right and drops him. This might be it. This might be it. He's absolutely out. I think this is it. He is out. It is it is <laughs> what a knockout. What a knockout. Oh my god. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that Allen. Three and one in the promotion. He's asking for that belt. Bro. Loken can barely get up to his feet right now. 
Good display of respect by Allen going and bowing to Loken. Loken has, Loken has no idea where he is right now. There's a fish called Opa that looks like you look like you took an aquarium fish and made it a thousand times bigger. Okay, I got to look at this. Opa. Oh my God. Jeez. That's a big fucking fish. That's a good way to describe it too. That's so funny. The rarely seen moon fish. Beautiful fish. I'm sure it's tasty. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Oh! Left hook from hell, dude. I have volume on one on my little iPad here, and I heard that shit loud and clear. My goodness. So you a Seahawks fan? Man, I feel bad because Russell Wilson is not on this team anymore. I'm not going to lie. I'm just not a big football guy. I am a hockey, box lacrosse, and combat sports guy. Um, so, And you're going to laugh at me just like everybody did in the last stream. If I'm going to devote time to watching football, it's going to be the CFL. BC Lions, baby, let's go! Now that I'm in Minnesota, though, everyone here makes me watch the Vikings every weekend, which is fine. There's some Vikings watch parties at breweries, which are fun. But my dad is a huge Seattle Seahawks fan, lunatic Leaf media. And my grandfather and uncle who, uh, you know, in Seattle, they're all Seahawks fans as well. Mahi Mahi, super fun to catch and super tasty. I've never caught Mahi Mahi. I've eaten Mahi Mahi. I love I'm a huge seafood guy. You know, from the Pacific West Coast, I grew up on the ship. My uh, my grandfather, my mom's side, and my grandmother's <laughs> three husbands. Yes, three husbands, all fishermen. So is Amberjack. I've never had Amberjack, but I've heard good things. You know what's funny? One of my favorite fish, and it's it's a rainbow motherfucking trout, ladies and gentlemen. Super super common fish up in British Columbia, Canada. Rainbow trout. I think without anything, you don't have to put salt, lemon, pepper, nothing on this shit. It's good just like itself. Kind of like a good pink salmon where you don't need, like a good coho, you don't need to put really anything on it for it to be amazing. That's kind of rainbow trout for me. Hey, just just saying hi, I'm going down with something. I'm going down, it's coming down with something? Well, I hope you feel better, Gravedigger Jones. Happy Friday, my man. Vikings are going to be good next season. They drafted uh, a good players. Yes, they did. Let's just hope Jefferson stays with them. And again, shout out to Allen. That was a beautiful left-hand knockout. So have fun with the stream. Gravedigger Jones, I hope you have a great evening. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope to see you tomorrow. I hope you're feeling better tomorrow, buddy. I've never gone to try rainbow trout, but I've heard it's great. Down here, trout aren't super fun to catch fresh water or salt water. They're fun to catch in BC because you can. There's there's just so many fun lakes where you can find them in. But that's uh, when I grew up in northern BC in Prince George and even parts of southern BC before you get to like the big cities and stuff like that. Um, and even some some parts of Vancouver Island, you can find rainbow trout and like, man, plenty to go around. They're awesome. Um, my grandfather has passed away. He he died a few years ago, but uh, one of the best memories I have with him growing up as a kid was going and catching rainbow trout. So easy to catch with a fucking, you know, $20 rod fish kids fishing rod that you get at like a Walmart or whatever. Um, so yeah, recipe grandpa love the memories of catching those rainbow trout with you. Um, all right, we're gonna take a quick break folks. We're going to be right back. I got to drain the main vein. I got to grab something else to drink here on the other side. We will be back. This may be the most popular fight on the card here this may be the people's main event i know it's a lot of the homies main event here and i know i'm going to pronounce the name wrong nuyen <laughs> benjamin slapping his face right now against smith uh two and oh fighter in bkfc against someone making their debut we will highlight both of them in detail on the other side I've been to Puerto Rico before. I have not. How is Puerto Rico? I've heard great things. I'd love to go visit it there. I'd love to go visit there, I should say. We don't have pike or walleye down here either. Walleye's good. Walleye's good. Benjamin, I can't wait for uh, Tim and Kyle to jump on a member stream soon, and we can just talk fish the whole time. Because 
Tim used to be a commercial fisherman and run his own fishing charter on northern Vancouver Island. And Kyle's very much a fly fisherman. So Tim very much the ocean fisherman, Kyle the lake and river guy. So it'd be cool to uh, <laughs> to, to talk uh, with you about that. I know, I know. Win against Smith. Uh, on the other side, folks, don't go anywhere. Refill your drink. Refill your snack bowl. We'll be back on the other side. BKFC 42 continues on the other side. We have another four more fights left here on the card, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get this video to, let's say, 30 likes. Do you think we can get to 30 likes on this video? I know we don't have a big crowd here today, so that might be a lofty goal, but we're trying to get to 30 likes on this video. So like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. We do live fight companions every single weekend. That is right. Live play by play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Shout out to everyone in the live chat right now. Benjamin, Lunatic Leaf Media, Gravedigger Jones, Professor Chaos, Foul One, Hockey From Home, JD, um, blah, 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 um, Diego, and our friend Peanuts. Back on the other side here for the first and only women's fight. Andy win against Sydney Smith. On the other side, two-minute break. Back right before these ladies throw down live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. I just bought a new whip. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. Never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can hold hands if you want to. Hey, tell me what you want to do. We can just laugh if you want to. Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can hold hands if you wanna Live here on the City Life Project, Andy Win. What a walkout, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you folks recall, I believe it was, what, four or five events ago? Shit, maybe it was even four or five months ago now. Um, we did a BKFC live stream, and Andy Win beat the piss out of some girl. And we watched some of the highlights on uh, this walkout 
Again, shout out to Waconia Brewing for hooking me up with this sweet sign behind me. And also for hooking me up with this nice care package and my next beverage. 40 years old is a win, by the way. Shout out to Waconia Brewing. Oh, we got the chocolate peanut butter porter here. Very different from the last thing I was drinking in the hazy IPA. Okay, let's quickly highlight these fighters. Uh, Andy, the Crasian new uh, against Sydney Smith. Do, 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 do. That was insane. Knockout in the last fight. It was indeed. Last week, there was no stream, so I was just hanging in the chat with Jay Herbo. And he was rooting for the Oilers, so now I root for the Oilers. That is amazing. That is amazing, Benjamin. Damn, that looks good. It is. It is. Forty-one years old is the Crasian. Three KO, TKO, one submission, two decision as a pro MMA fighter. She went six and twelve as a pro MMA fighter. Zero and one in Bellator, one and two in Ryzen. She beat Neka Dmitrieva via split decision. But she lost to... <laughs> She's just going ham in the ring right now. Um, she lost her last fight, unanimous decision. Just, uh, oh, a game... She fought a game-bred boxing? Get the fuck out of here. So she lost... In game bread boxing, unanimous decision just literally a month ago. She's back fighting BKFC. She's 2-0 in the promotion. Up against the newcomer, Sydney Smith. I am going with the Crasian here. I don't care if she's 41 years old. We're locking it in. Sydney Smith is 31 years old. 0-1 in pro MMA. Making her... BKFC debut. Let's go, baby. And just Bare Knuckle FC debut as well. Bare Knuckle Boxing in general debut. All right. We are in the first round here, folks. Let's get it all. One minute and 23 seconds in. Do, 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 do. Win. In the blue corner, Smith in the red. Again, happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. We do live fight companions every single weekend tomorrow, UFC and top rank boxing on ESPN. Mm. What's crazy about this peanut butter chocolate porter is you smell peanut butter before you even like before it even hits your lips. So it's always a trip. 44 seconds left. Again, for 41 years old, wins got some. Wind in her sails. Wind's got some speed here. Muay Thai fighter now boxer and bare knuckle boxer. She lost in game bread boxing again, but 2-0 in this promotion, and she had a hell of a good fight in her last fight. I love her boxing uh, shoes, by the way. Smith making her BKFC debut, and look at Smith, a lot lankier. 15 seconds left in the first round here. I would not expect Florida to have a hockey team. They have two, baby. The Panthers, who should be in Miami, but uh, are not. And the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, who are... Tampa Bay Lightning are one of the best teams in the National Hockey League. And they won the Stanley Cup, uh, what, in 2000... What was it? 2006, I think? I bet that drink would go good with some uh, Biscoffs. Oh, yes, it would. Uh, five of my most hated team. One Montreal, two Boston, three Edmonton. I'd say with me, it's probably Toronto, Montreal, Boston. Hey, I love that we can, hate, we can uh, share our hate for Boston. Cheers, brother. And Montreal. But as a Leafs fan, like, of course you hate Boston and Montreal. I don't hate Edmonton. I don't love Edmonton. I do like Calgary more than Edmonton. I lived in Calgary for a few years. The fans are awesome. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. First round, not a lot of action. Neither of these women hit each other too much. If anything, I say that Smith got the better of her opponent there. 
Round two, Win Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all! Win in the blue corner, Smith in the red. Oh, and Smith getting some good shots in there on Win. Pittsburgh. One minute and 35 seconds left in this second round, folks. Five minute rounds if needed. We have not seen any fight on this card go the distance yet. Pittsburgh Penguins, Evgeny Malkin, Sidney Crosby duo, one of the best duos that I've ever seen in my lifetime play the sport of hockey. I've historically always hated the Bruins when I used to be a Habs fan. There you go. I love how we can all share like hate for the same teams. I love it. If we can't come together and love the same teams, I love that we can come together and hate the same teams. One minute on the clock here. Smith getting the better of win here in this second round. Both of them with a lot of feints here. I almost think like Smith is mocking win just a little bit. The Habs, Montreal, Canadians. Habs is short for habitant, which means habitants, i.e. Canadians, la Canadienne. Habitual cheaters. <laughs> the Habs, baby. What is up, Soto? And Soto, changing your profile picture again. I love it. <laughs> Good to see you, Soto. Thank you so much for dropping by earlier today on the last stream, too. How are you tonight, Soto? 15 seconds left in the second round. Ooh, and a nice right hand by Smith. Smith, I think, is up two rounds on the win right now. Nice left hand by Smith. Win with a nice left hand from the outside. And that is it for the second round. We didn't got a couple good shots there, but I think Smith is up two rounds. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks, as we enter the third round here. Five rounds if needed. We have not needed it at all this evening. As Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in the audience here. Gotta love Wonderboy. Is there a team called the Snowmen or the Yetis? No, not in the National Hockey League. I'm sure in some like semi-pro hockey league, though, there are. Uh, McDavid fans have been getting on my nerves, bragging about their ninth ninth wins, and that's why I'm starting to hate Edmonton. The reason why I don't really root for Edmonton anymore is because when they drafted all those first-round picks and the NHL basically just gave them a team, like a free team to rebuild, they fucked it up. Like the whole Taylor Hall, Jordan Eberle, like that whole era when they drafted all those guys back to back to back to back to back and then they just forced them into the National Hockey League, didn't develop the prospects at all. I kind of lost my... Whatever support I had for the Oilers was gone. Kind of same with Toronto Maple Leafs. I rooted for Lupul and Kessel when they are on the same line. After that season, I was kind of done. Let's get it all! Round three, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 33 seconds in on the clock here in this third round. There aren't the icebergs, no. Snowman would be a cool name. I could see like an ECHL team named the Snowman. Louisiana used to have the ice skaters. That was awesome. Ice gators, but ice skaters, get it? I thought that was incredible. I forget where they were in Louisiana. Fifty-five seconds left in this third round. Mostly stay on the outside as win right now, despite being the shorter and more compact fighter. And I say that because Smith is very long and lanky. She uses her inch or uses her reach there in that entry with that right hand. Win seems to be the one attacking on the outside more. Good footwork here, bouncing around, but just not connecting enough. Thirty-four seconds left in this third round. Uh, Todd Marshall, my favorite oiler of all time. The Colorado Avalanche, yes. Uh, there's the Minnesota Wild and the Nashville Predators, and the the Predators kind of have a saber tooth tiger as their logo. So there you go. I think these are better names than the Canadians or the Maple Leafs. Yeah, but bro, the, the Canadians and the Maple Leafs, they they're the original six, right? So they've been around for what, over a hundred years. So. They've been around the longest. Dun, 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 dun. And then McDonald's would sue them if a team had the flurries. 
But the Colorado Avalanche, uh, the Quebec Nordiques became the Colorado Avalanche. Round four, ladies and gentlemen, is is, is it only fitting that the only woman's fight on the card here goes the distance? Please, please, Smith or Wynn, knock one, knock one, knock each other out here and prove me wrong. Make me eat those words. That's what I want to see. I just said that for motivation, folks. To be fair, though, in the NFL, there's two different teams known as the Bulldogs. Which teams are those? Like, I know my sports. Which teams are the Bulldogs in the NFL? I can't think of them off the top of my head. Like, if I sat here and had to list the entire NFL, I'd probably miss a few teams. But, like, there's no team that you to- that you would tell me. And I go, oh, I didn't know they existed. Not the NFL college football. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think there is. College football, I don't know shit about. So, round one. Let's get it all. Oh, sorry. R- round four. Let's get it on. Um, I barely know. I mean, I know enough about college hockey now to have a conversation here with college hockey fans in the States, but no college sports getting new to it. Cause we just didn't have access in Canada, Georgia, and Mississippi. Gotcha. I wasn't alive in Quebec had an NHL team. Me neither. I'm a 93 born just turned 30 uh, last month. One minute, and 33 seconds here. Wind starting to wear some damage on her forehead. <clears throat> Smith outstriking win as well. 22 strikes in the first round, 25 in the second round, 22 in the third. Win only 14 in that third round. Quebec Nordics, though, I mean, absolutely legendary logo with the igloo. Absolutely legendary story of Eric Lindros refusing to wear the jersey at the draft, demanding a trade. And basically the Philadelphia Flyers setting up the new Colorado Avalanche for that Stanley Cup dynasty run with Forsberg and the crew with that Lindros trade. Quebec lost their team in 96. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, so I was alive, but I was three years old. So I don't remember. Three years old. Just learning how to talk and sing. Probably watching Fred Penner, not hockey. 25 seconds left. Does anyone even know who Fred Penner is in this chat? 22 seconds left in this fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. Smith getting the better of win, in my opinion. But yeah, if you guys don't know about uh, the whole Eric Lindros story, go check it out. There's a ton of little like mini docs on YouTube. There's a nice shot by win there. And that is it. For this fourth round. The thing about Wynn is she she makes it look like she's doing a lot. Because she's bouncing around there. And she is landing a few shots on the outside. But she's wearing a lot of the damage here. And though that fourth round was a lot closer. I still think Sydney Smith is winning this fight. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat folks. And if you haven't already. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. So you never miss an upload. We do live fight companions every single weekend on this channel. We've already done Eris. We've already done Bellator. BKFC right now. UFC tomorrow, followed by Top Rank Boxing Saturday evening. And I'm so excited to have you folks alongside for the ride. We post a lot more than just MMA live streams and combat sports live streams on the channel as well, folks. So check it out. Again, BKFC, love BKFC. And in our collective ring girl ratings, BKFC is up there with K- uh, KSW, baby. Let's freaking go. Fifth and final round. Let's get it all. And I mean, you kind of have to if you're sponsored by OnlyFans. Am I right? Am I right? He was so hated in Quebec, as he should have been. As he should have been. But you know what? It set up the Colorado uh, Avalanche organization, that trade. One minute, 42 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with my stream. Shout out to all the 20 people watching us live here. If you are viewing on Facebook and Twitch, please migrate over to YouTube. YouTube is our main streaming destination for Fight Companions, folks. Facebook and Twitch are our backups. We're only streaming on them this weekend to tell you folks who met us last week on our backup accounts to get your ass over to YouTube so you can join our live chat and vote in our poll question. Speaking of their poll question, how's it looking right now? Who did you vote for in the poll question? Nguyen circling out as she's been doing this entire fight. One minute and nine seconds left straight right by Smith. 
eh, like compared to small town Canada, like small town, small towns in Canada and the rest of Canada. Yes, but not as much as like, you know, put it this way. You go to like downtown Vancouver and it's not just a bunch of hippies. You know, you go downtown Vancouver, hang out with like rich folk there. It's kind of that same pompous attitude, a little bit more granola on the West coast. Um, put it this way, man, though, Ontario has 68% of Canada's population. It ain't Canada, baby. I feel like Canada is represented by the small towns, small communities. But uh, compared to Calgary, for example, yes. Compared to a Quebec City, yes. Oh, and a nice couple shots by Win there, and she drops Smith. Hey, if the judges think this is a closer fight than I do, that could be the deciding factor. And that is it for the 50 final oh, round. <gasps> Toronto will soon be annexed to India. Ah, uh, nah. Because, <laughs> nah. I mean, if that's the case, then Vancouver is one-way ticket tomorrow uh, to China. Like, look, there's a huge East Indian population in Toronto, but I'd say Toronto is way more diverse all around than Canada. Or then, then other cities in Canada, whereas Vancouver is very much East Indian, very much Asian, like fifty percent of Vancouver. It's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, <laughs> that's just that's just a fact. Whereas Toronto, every, every every all everybody everybody, because it's such a melting pot. No way! Did they actually? Let's go, baby! <laughs> Sorry, lunatic, lunatic Leafs Media. That wasn't a shot at you. I'm just a very salty <laughs> Vancouver Canucks fan, Western Canadian boy, and any time the Leafs feel pain, I feel happiness. Like I said, Lunatic Leaf Media, you seem like an absolute beauty, and I hope that this doesn't ruin our relationship. But I, I mean, man, I hate the Leafs more than I love my mother. I would rather never see the Canucks win in my lifetime if the Leafs also never win in my lifetime. <laughs> I, and I admit, I'm kind of a dick. I'm kind of a dick. It's like New York City with a lot of Italian population. Yeah, yeah. But New York City is kind of a melting pot as well in different areas of New York. But no, I get you. I get you. All right, folks. And by the way, Lunatic Leaf Media, I'm sorry about him. I feel bad there because Lunatic, I mean, he's a nice guy. I feel bad how I just uh, got really excited there, but uh, I can't help myself, folks. I'm a salty bastard. All right, we're listening in for the official decision here, folks. Close fight, I guess. I have Smith winning personally, but I can see when... I can see the judges giving this to win as well. Now that I look at the significant strikes, and now that I look at the damage... On Smith. God bless America. USA. USA. Oh, I do, man. And actually, um, Lunatic Leafs Media, we do. He works with the... We're just listening in for the official decision. Sydney Smith wins this one, and that was the right decision, in my opinion. Lunatic Leaf Media, actually, we I do know, I don't know if he remembers me personally, because it was towards my end, my the end of my time with the company, but I actually um was one of the co-founders of the hockey podcast network. I'm no longer with them anymore, but they do great stuff on YouTube. They do a bunch of uh similar watch parties like this on YouTube as well. And I think they started working with Hawk Take Hot Take Hockey right at the end of my time with the network. I ended up leaving them last summer but uh yeah no I, i'm very familiar with hot take hockey now he's working with uh, the hockey podcast network every now and then as well so shout out to them they took their derbs they took their derbs oh i've been starting to get into south park huge kenny versus spenny fan so funny enough i actually watched kenny versus spenny before south park uh kenny hots was a writer on south park Speaking of Kenny vs. Spenny, by the way, um, the Kenny vs. Spenny video is being removed from the channel tonight, folks. So this is your last time to watch it. If you want to ever watch the full video again, hit me up 
privately or via a comment and i'll i'll, I'll literally just send it to you via email um but uh, it can no longer be on youtube we're gonna narrow it down to not show much of their show and just show like our uh, meet and greet with them and some of the other comedians from nanaimo but uh, last chance to watch that video before it gets taken down tonight ladies and gentlemen shout out to kenny hots didn't just strike our channel right away kindly asked and then threatened to strike our channel so uh, we are taking that video down tonight. Last chance to watch that video. We can't make it private or anything like that. It has to go to avoid any more <laughs> bullshit with YouTube. So last chance to watch the Kenny vs. Spenny video tonight, folks. If you don't get a chance to watch it, hit me up. I will literally just send it to you. Oilers on top. Yeah, boy. All right. Is this the... Uh co-main event of the evening of a featured fight here ladies and gentlemen three more fights left on the card cody jenkins is up next here dun, 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 dun. let's highlight both of these fighters and i'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen as well does Tapology even have these guys listed i don't think they do, 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 do. So Keith Richardson against Jenkins. No, that one was actually. Um, bu, 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 looks like that one was actually. I mean, topology. I don't. I don't blame them for not being up on there. BKFC. But anyways, Keith Richardson here, twenty-two and eleven pro MMA record, thirty-nine years old, one one in LFA, zero one in Bellator. Uh, he fought in BKFC in uh, January, BKFC 35, and he won via unanimous decision, making his second appearance here today. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm just taking a look. Cody Jenkins, I'm just going to find his profile on Tapology because uh, Keith Richardson wasn't supposed to face him tonight. He was supposed to face a different fighter. Uh, that fighter had to pull out, so we are looking at Cody Jenkins here. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Okay, Cody Jenks. Jenkins, 2-7 and seven in pro MMA. Oof. Yeah, lost his last three BKFC fights. Lost his last four MMA fights. She, folks, I'm going, I'm going with Richardson, locking it in. Sorry, Jenkins. I'm going with Richardson. Let me know who you are picking in the live chat, folks. Did you know Bedard is a Canucks fan? Yes, he's from Vancouver. And I know a lot of Canucks fans hate the Blackhawks. Yeah. Oh. God, I fucking hate the Blackhawks, too. That's right. You know what? I think the Blackhawks are probably my top three hated teams. They probably jumped Boston at this point because no one on the Bruins team that beat the Canucks in 2011 only two Bruins are left on that team and it's Marshawn and Bergeron who beat the Canucks in 2011 so I really don't hate the Bruins as much as I did back in the day oh fuck the Blackhawks though what, what a shit organization from the people running it to covering up I can't even say the words but uh well you know what fuck it I'll say it. covering up the whole sexual abuse case and everything the whole sexual abuse stuff going on it's just, it's disgusting. So fuck that organization. <laughs> and uh, yeah, screw the Blackhawks. I am so, I hope Connor Bedard pulls a Eric Lindros on stage. That would be amazing. Uh, Jeremy Roenick in NHL 94 was like Vito Belfort on TRT. Yes. And you know what? Jeremy Roenick in 94 was probably on TRT. That's EA NHL 94. <laughs> On Super Nintendo? If I'm not mistaken? <laughs> who? What kind of nickname is Jenks? Any Leafs fan who said we want Florida is a fucking clown. Dude, Matty Kachuk has had a hell of a series. And how about Bobrovsky becoming the wall that Donald Trump only could have dreamed to build? Bobrovsky is that wall. <laughs> Yes, Super Nintendo. I had that game, brother. I, had, I love Super Nintendo. When I was back home visiting my parents, I fired up uh, Super Mario World. 
And uh, what was the other game I played? Oh, and I had a, I was able to plug in my Pokemon Red in a game cartridge and play it on my Super Nintendo on the TV, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, folks, round one. Let's get it on. Knuckle up, round one. Let's get Let's it on. Get it all. Jenkins, with the height and reach advantage in the red corner. Nice left hand by Jenkins. I'm not even going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen right now, folks. We're in the first round here. You know what? I take that back. I will. But I'm just going to do it simply like this. One minute, 38 seconds on the clock. Huge right hand by Richardson. Left hand by Richardson. Almost dropped Jenkins there. Richardson, the shorter fire, but fighter, but as soon as he gets in the pocket, he's landing way more, way more speed, way more technique. Beautiful uppercuts, beautiful one-twos, beautiful straight lefts, right cross, straight left, right uppercut. Like, again, don't look at my form, but beautiful, beautiful hands by Richardson on Jenkins. And Richardson wasn't originally... So Richardson was originally Richardson was originally supposed to fight someone else. So Jenkins did take this on short notice, but look how much taller Jenkinson is than Richardson. Richardson's doing such a better job of landing those shots. Jenkins starting to bleed from the nose now. Did Tim Hester win? Um, blah, 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 blah. Tim Hester. He didn't fight, so I think he was pulled out tonight. He's not listed. Oh my goodness. And Richardson drops Jenkins. He's shaking his head. I don't know if Jenkins is going to get back up. Jenkins is not getting up. This fight is over. This fight is over. Jenkins was like, I don't want any more of this little motherfucker. I don't want any more. He's bleeding from the nose. He's bleeding from the mouth. And he's just looking down, just shaking his head like, you tough son of a bitch. This is fucked up. What am I doing here? Much like the thoughts that went through Luke Rockhold's face when his teeth got chipped. Bedard should have been a flyer. I personally wanted to see him in San Jose. But you know who deserved him the most? Columbus. They've, that is the one organization in the National Hockey League who's never had a, a superstar player. It's crazy. No collusion whatsoever. Kane and Taves out. Bedard in. Uh, glad I left the Air Canada Center after the first... You were there, Falwon? You were there? Falwon, by the way, you have a fellow Leafs fan in the chat. Falwon, meet lunatic Leaf media. Falwon is a huge Leafs fan. We're, we're Falwon and I are tight, even though we we understand that we, you know, we, we may butt heads on our favorite sports teams. Samuel Samples, did he fight tonight? Samuel Samples, that's a great name. Yes, he won tonight. I'm not sure if he won or lost, to be perfectly honest, because I didn't watch the prelims. Did you have a parlay? Anyone but the Blackhawks, really, yes. Yeah, Anaheim, too. I would have been fine with Anaheim. I would have been fine with Columbus. For some reason, I just wanted to see him in Teal. I would have loved to see him in San Jose. Kind of a smaller market Cali team, which is cool. I mean, and the Ducks are too, don't get me wrong, but they have a plethora of stars. The Ducks are now going to get Fantilli, and oh my God. Oh my God. He's going to absolutely torch. Yeah, I have seasons. I couldn't watch that horrible display of hockey. I almost left after they were down 9-1 shots after the fourth minute. Oh my goodness. Well, I know you have seasons, but I didn't know you had playoff seasons, foul one. That is incredible, sir. That is incredible. I'm just rooting for all the Georgia fighters. There's a lot of Georgia fighters fighting tonight. Um, I don't know about that one. By the way, where did Mike Jones go? Mike Jones won a lot of money on Bellator because that Fabian Edwards pick hit. He won a few grand, so I think he's just having a hell of a night. <laughs> Probably rolled the fattest cone and is just on Mars right now. Um, but bu 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 um, I wish I could see who won it, but it doesn't show on Tapology, unfortunately. 
<laughs> Lima won for Georgia tonight. That he did, baby. Atlanta stand up. Thank God we're not a team who covers up. Uh, yes, that is that is true. That is true. Fucking Blackhawks. Fucking Blackhawks. It's funny because everyone also hates them because of their like logo and like oh they're also racist. Whatever. Again, I'm from British Columbia, Canada, and I will say this: like I, I won't go as far as to call myself a quote unquote ally, but growing up in that part of the world, that part of the country very close to the indigenous peoples. Like um, as a child growing up in Northern BC, you're, you're just, you are in and around their communities and working in child and youth care. Um, when I was getting my feet wet in social work, I mean, growing up in Canada, you worked with a lot of the indigenous population there. I will tell you right now that the two favorite teams of every indigenous person that I've met in Canada is the Canucks and Blackhawks because of their logos. And how they feel pride that those representations, and those, in my opinion, are positive, beautiful art representations, unlike the fucking uh, the baseball team bastards, uh, Cleveland. That I mean, that shit's a little fucked up. But uh, anyway, so I don't have anything. I don't have any gripes with the Blackhawks logo at all. Um, I think it's fucking beautiful. And I love how the indigenous peoples aren't for the most part. I don't, I don't speak on behalf of all of them, but my experience, they love it. They love it. Even Canucks fans in BC, all the shit that the, that the Blackhawks have put Canucks fans through in the last, you know, I guess it's not even the last decade anymore, but you know, 20 years ago, 15 years, 10, 10, 15 years ago, we'll say a lot of them still love that logo and have jerseys. So that's what I'll say on that matter. What's up, Andrew? We always have Hockey Canada lunatic leaf that you guys do. Are you happy, Isha, that you won? I'm, I'm a little happy, Andrew. I'm a little happy. I heard that about the Redskins too. Yes. Uh, Blackhawks logo is really nice. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, there's a junior hockey team out in uh, Vancouver Island called the Saanich Braves. Similar style logo. They had to change their name and everything a couple years ago due to outrage by white people. Um, anyways, uh, if the Leafs cover it up, then I'm pissed and done. Uh, no, exactly, exactly. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm not Canadian. Yes, uh, you told me that, but foul one. Uh, Lunatic Leaf Media is an American who chooses... And loves his Leafs. As much as I hate the Leafs, I respect that. All right, Cole, main event is next here, folks. As these fighters make their walkout to the ring, we will highlight both these fighters in just a moment. Here, let me... There we go, make that a little bit bigger. What a night it has been indeed. Only one fight has gone the distance, ladies and gentlemen. The only person who should be able to decide on the Blackhawks logo is Warrior Blackhawks Black family. There you go. There you go. Exactly that. Original 6-2, guys. Come on. Like, we change an original 6 logos now? Come on. Rooting for the Leafs and rooting against America. Sounds like a double loser tonight. <laughs> JK, JK, JK. It's just crazy that the Panthers are the ones causing all this commotion in the East. And now they're going up against the Hurricanes. You know what's crazy? Like, the Hurricanes are a damn good team. But you beat the Boston Bruins. You beat the Toronto Maple Leafs. You can beat the fucking Hurricanes. Right? That's what's crazy about the scenario in the Eastern Conference. The Florida Panthers, who squeaked into the playoffs, took down... Arguably one of the best NHL teams of all time in the Boston Bruins, who set records for the most regular season wins. The Panthers beat them in the first round. Then they beat the Maple Leafs, arguably the second best team in the National Hockey League, arguably the second best team in the East behind the Bruins. And now Carolina, who is the third, fourth best team in the East, one of the better teams in the National Hockey League. The Florida Panthers are more than capable of taking them out. Goalie Bob and Kachuk are absolutely torching right now. 
<laughs> Glad to have you here, Lunatic Leaf. Yes, cheers, Lunatic Leaf. Thank you so much for joining. William Knipe is fighting on CES 73 tonight. I think we streamed a CES card before. I mean, shout out to regional MMA, but it was a fucking garbage card. And the and the production wasn't that great either. We'll, I bet we'll, we will do CES down the road again. William Knight, let's just say he is where he belongs. What's up, Robert? Thank you so much for joining. Love the profile picture, Robert. No, the main event has not started yet, brother. Uh, Good John has not fought yet. This is the co-main event coming up. So we have this fight and then we're going on to the main event, brother. Robert, thank you so much for subscribing, buddy. I appreciate you. Oh, damn, Diego. I need to tune into that. It's on Fight Pass, right? CES? Or is it just on YouTube? They might be just streaming it for free on YouTube. Uh, Panthers remind me of hockey Latvia a little. Yeah, dude. The little engine that could, baby. Dude, Latvia at the junior level and that one Olympics... Latvia, I will say, at the junior level, Latvia is doing a great job with their with their uh, players. The World Juniors, for me, is my favorite tournament in sports. So you can watch him swing and miss over and over and over William Knight <laughs> or get wrecked by leg kicks. William Knight, black belt and weightlifting and also standing there taking leg kicks. Accurate. William Knight black belt and EPO and taking leg kicks. There we go. <laughs> we watched that fight together on this uh, on this channel, right? That his last UFC fight. What an absolute disgrace! What an absolute disgrace! He misses. He swings, but he misses. By the way, if anyone's watching on Facebook and Twitch right now, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. So you can join our main fight companion streaming channel. Six seven. Is Blake Lacaze. Blake Lacaze is standing 6'7 against Doug Coltran, who is 6'2, ladies and gentlemen. Minus 400 favorite for Doug Coltran, despite the height dif- height and reach difference and advantage that Blake Lacaze has on him. Don't forget about Germany making it to the Olympic gold medal. Okay. Props to Erhoff and the boys that year, but let's be honest, Lunatic. That was a watered-down Olympics where Canada's team was a fucking joke. And, you know, hell, I will I will say that the United States team was even a joke, despite Ryan Donato having a hell of a, a, hell of a tournament. <laughs> Germany should just call all their teams. Oh, come on. <laughs> I clicked that prematurely. Um, No, I, I don't think they should. Now, I, I, I put it this way, Benjamin, you would not be able to get away with that comment in the MMA gurus chat. Is that, am I taking it too far now? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's get to highlighting these fighters here. Jeez. And Benjamin's the sober one. God damn, dude. God damn. Oh man. Doug Coltran against Blake Lacaze here, ladies and gentlemen. Cold red Doug Coltran, 37 years of age out of North Carolina. He's in front of his home crowd he's a one and two pro mma record he is two and oh in bkfc unanimous decision in his first bkfc appearance tko in the second round um in january at bkfc 35 looking to continue his win streak is doug coltran looking at his opponent blake lacay's out of monroe louisiana 27 years of age again He's fucking huge. This guy is a gangly alien. I mean, he's standing 6'7". He looks like a gangly ass alien here. 81 inch of 81 inches of reach. He's 6'12 and 2 pro boxing record. He won his last fight in BKFC where his opponent threw in the towel going into the third round at BKFC 36 in February. Before then, he lost four in a row in boxing and BKFC. 1-1 in the promotion going up against the 2-0 Doug Coltran. Doug Coltran, a tall guy in his own right, standing 6-2. Pretty 
Everybody's going up against a guy who's six freaking seven. By the way, shout out to all 20 of you joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Why, Ben? Why? The dude who called Marab a goblin, I couldn't say that's in that chat. No, it's it's a joke just because everyone calls him a Jew. Even though the MMA guru is not Jewish nor crippled, everyone calls him the crippled Jew, which is... Is that? Oh, what's up, Let's Go Champ? Do they just get scrubs? Coming event is like a one and two MMA. They don't necessarily go after MMA fighters. They go after scrappers who put on good performances and you can knock motherfuckers out in uh, bare knucks. By the way, Let's Go Champ, only one fight on this card did not end in a TKO. That's a word I'm not allowed to say on social media. <laughs> so that's a word I'm usually not. I'm not allowed to say on social media either. That word is so overused now, Ben. I'm not even sure it means what it used to. I hope not. Look, I know, I know, sticks and stones break your bones. Words should never hurt you. But there's some fucking words out there that should, that probably just should still like. Let's just not, because there's just terrible history. <laughs> Now, comedians wrapped in a bow of comedy who do it in a great way. And that doesn't even mean you have to be famous to be able to do it. There's a lot of, uh, you know, like dive bar comedians who put together some nasty and unbelievably beautiful and, you know, offensive jokes. But I just think everyone throwing the word out like that, like you said, foul one. And, and there's a few others too that maybe they just grind my gears personally. I don't know. It's we're, we're becoming too comfortable here. And again, I'm not no I'm no PC police. If anything, like I like to toe the line. <laughs> not necessarily on YouTube because they shut my shit down all the time, but in real life. But uh, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. We live in some crazy times. Oh, didn't know that. <laughs> no soup for you. God, Professor Chaos, we missed you on the big Bellator stream today. All right, folks, co-main event is starting now. Five rounds if needed, but let's be honest, folks. We have not seen five rounds this entire fight other than the only women's fight on the card. Let's get it on. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. These lanky-ass mouths. Let's go. I gotta say mouths just like J-Rock. Shout out to Trailer Park Boys. Oh, Canada. And again, both these guys super tall. But Lacay's big, lanky, alien looking moth. Just like Trevor. Again, back to the Trailer Park Boys references. Sean Castro, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Love you, Sean. Yeah. Apparently, he's jacked. He does Muay Thai. One minute in to this first round, ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of shots by either of these two guys. Again, look at how tall Lacaze is. Dude, I like Lunatic Leaf here. Not all German people are evil. Like, I don't find all Persian people evil to America. Thank fuck, because I'm Persian. <laughs> Persian Canadian. What's up, baby? Well, my dad's Persian, but I was born in Canada. My mother's American, so I'm technically I'm Persian or I'm Canadian American. Half Canadian, half American. But my dad's Persian, so does, does that make me Persian Canadian? I don't know. My family's from Iran. 15 seconds left in this first round. A nice left hand by Lacaze. I don't know if that's going to count as a knockdown, though. It looks more like a slip. Oh, he's getting a count, though. So it is a knockdown. <laughs> Lunatic, you're a good man. Shout out to you. All right. And that is it for the first round, folks. Yeah, <laughs> Lunatic, leave it. It's just a joke. I don't actually think Germans were associated with their former party. Um, you will get soon enough lunatic and lunatics new to this channel. So shout out to you, lunatic. We appreciate you. Um, <laughs> Benjamin, very educated, uh, sometimes smart ass, but, uh, 
He is the proud, proud uh, owner of every single comment of the Knight Award. So there you go. There you go. Uh, you're Persian. Does that mean you can wind back time like in those video games? Uh, Prince of Persia. Hey, the first Prince of Persia video game was actually fucking awesome. On the original Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation, Jake Gyllenhaal had to go and ruin that uh, franchise. They should have casted me in that role. Not some white dude. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all! Who am I kidding? Look at me. I'm pale as they come. Out of all my cousins, I'm the whitest brown in the family. Shout out to my blonde-haired, blue-eyed mother. <laughs> One minute and 42 seconds on the clock here. Second round, ladies and gentlemen. They clinch up against the cage. And some good, dirty boxing there by Coltran. Beautiful right uppercuts by Coltran. And Coltran with the left hand. And he knocks out Lucas. Lucas is out. Lucas is out. Lucas is out. Look at the finish it. Hit it to the Lucas oh, is oh, out. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. And he fell Stefan Struve style, ladies and gentlemen. Timber. Oh, my goodness. And just like that, another knockout on this card. Timber, ladies and gentlemen. The big boy goes down. I respect the Middle Eastern people. Sucks they don't they have to go through the situation. Yes, and by the way, still support all the women in Iran right now. We got Revolution 2.0 going down in Iran right now. Um, so shout out to the women of Iran. We stand by you here on this channel. If anything, America was evil to the Persians, not the other way around. And by if anything, I mean that's definitely how it actually is. <laughs> I mean, I will say this. Fuck the Ayatollah and the crooked government over there, but the the people are amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I am because you know I'm I'm one of them, because I'm very much Canadian. Um, even out of all my cousins, like I'm like one of the only ones who don't speak Farsi. I'm you know the backwards hat wearing, pot smoking, fucking plaid wearing, Canadian hockey loving. I don't like soccer, right? So like I'm very much not shunned by the family, but the the black sheep of the fan, the brown sheep of the family, the pale sheep of the family. <laughs> as we move up in shades, but uh, obviously more cultured than the average bloke out there. Sean Cosgrove is our newest member of the channel. Thank you so much, Sean. Wow. Sean, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel, Sean. That is awesome. I appreciate you, brother. By the way, folks, Sean is a huge supporter of my podcast, the Soda Pod podcast. And Sean motherfucking Costro Costco just became a member of the channel. Thank you so much, Sean. Honestly, buddy, you have no idea how much that means. This means to me. Thank you so much. Like, you've been such a longtime supporter of the Soda Pod that, like, you did not have to do this, brother. You go above and beyond for supporting our podcast anyways, and I just really appreciate this more than words can describe. Thank you so much. Cheers to you, Sean, for becoming a member. And, I mean, same goes to uh, Benjamin, who became a member uh, last week as well. Thank you, guys. I mean, Sean, you can also now join our exclusive memberships. I know you're not a huge MMA guy, but we do exclusive member streams every week as well. You can join our Discord. You can get to know our fam here on the City Life Project side of things. But again, Sean, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel, buddy. Isha, the Prince of Persia was basically about me. Do tell, Benjamin, do tell. Dude. Coltrane is giving us the speech of the century here. I'm from North Carolina, the home of the rednecks. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Isha doesn't wear Lacoste or drive a white Mercedes. That's the real reason why he's the black sheep. Yeah, because all my cousins actually make fucking money. <laughs> I stream on YouTube for a part-time job. So, yes. I uh, do. I will say though, my favorite high top sneakers were Lacoste. I got them at a consignment store, but still, they still have the tags on them. Um, so those are pretty sweet. 
Yeah, dude. I don't wear polo shirts. I don't wear Lacoste. I don't wear F1 or soccer jerseys. Um, I wear Blundstones, plaid, backwards hats, or I just go straight up shirtless. And I don't trim my chest like my cousins who think that makes a fucking difference. You're still hairy as balls. You might as well just live it up, baby. Let's go. I hope the Nuggets win it all because I'm sick and tired of the Warriors and Lakers in the finals. It would be nice to have a little bit of a change there. And I do like uh, I do like Denver's team. Again, I'm not a huge basketball guy personally. My favorite sports are box, lacrosse, hockey, and combat sports. <laughs> Can you find the common denominator? I love fighting. North Carolinans have the most ignorant sounding Southern accents. By the way, I hear North Carolina has some of the best breweries at least brewery scene in the United States. Shirtless stream when? Can I show my nipples on YouTube? I know they're tightening their policy. Oh, actually, foul one. I already said. I, we already made a date for this on this stream. How can I forget? I was telling Benjamin, I'm working out not as much as Benjamin because Benjamin's like the fucking king of lifting weights in the live chat here. But I am getting back into shape. Believe it or not, boys and girls in the live chat, like, I eat stupidly healthy. Um, and I like I love physical activity. Even even though I like puffing on the hippie lettuce from now and then, like I'm that freak who doesn't like to sit on the couch, eat like munch out and watch movies when you know I partake. I like to go on runs, play sports, do like two hour long yoga stretches and shit like that. Like I'm a freak, okay? So I, I I stay in pretty good shape, but like, let's just say this winter, my first winter in the United States, hibernating, trying all the fast food here, touring with my podcast, drinking a bunch of craft beer. Let's just say I got a little USA, uh, a little USA belly going on. So I'm trying to get that six pack back. So at the end of my two and a half, three months of going hardcore, like I'm, I, I usually eat healthy, but I'm kind of really... I'm really cracking down on it right now. I'm also doing jujitsu twice a week. We'll do the shirtless stream when Isha's six pack is back, baby. Let's go. It'll probably be at the end of the summer. Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope. Uh, dumb question. I see video clips on YouTube of the soda pod slash judge buzz, et cetera. Is there a platform which shows the whole episode in video format? Um, No. So the full episode is in audio format. Um, we've just been kind of picking apart the full, like the full video recording of it and just posting video clips. Um, is that official feedback from Sean wanting the full video side of thing? I'll tell you straight up the reason why we don't do it. Cause we don't want people, we don't want to take away podcast downloads slash numbers. And we want to, add like an extra element to the brand which is why we, we've been posting clips um we, would, we don't want to take away even if it's just like 10 to 20 listeners of the podcast the full episode uh for youtube yet anyways maybe once we hit like a thousand subs and we monetize the channel that's a different story um but anyways that's kind of the reasoning right now sean but but we uh we might be able to change that if that's something that you would like 7th Avenue and ramen. That was uh, that was the old diet. That was the old diet. Now it's chicken breast fish with either a salad with a little balsamic and olive oil, um, feta, and chicken. What is it? Chicken, fish, salad, broccoli, carrots. That's it. That's lich or in eggs. That that is all I'm eating uh, throughout the week. One weekend, I'm allowed to eat, what was it, uh, 700 grams or 600 grams of carbs or something like that. I forget. It might be more. It might, it might be more. It might be 6,000 grams. Cause I, don't know. I have a whole fucking list thing, a whole chart thing that I, that I do. Imagine Francis Ngannou is slightly lighter skin. That's me. Is that actually you, Benjamin? Are you actually that jacked? With some of the workouts that Benjamin has said he's done, like I, I can imagine. Not long, not long. Um, I really want to get into it more. And it's mostly just been a financial thing. I just haven't been able to pay for more classes and or memberships. 
Um, but I started it last summer. I went for about two months, twice a week. Um, then I moved to Minnesota, found a really good school and I was going once a week for about two months. And then, um, what was it? End of March. I basically, I haven't gone in a month. If you have a, to pick a Jersey number, mine will be 15 because of Vince Carter and Nikolai Jokic and Patrick Mahomes. Oh, number nine for me. Makes sense. Seems like how other podcasts on YouTube do it. If we had like a sit down double camera and we had like, you know, the Andrew Schultz um, production, a hundred percent, we'd, we'd post the full episode and we might down the road. No problem, buddy. No problem. Thank you, Sean, again, for becoming an exclusive member guys, Sean Cosgrove, a longtime supporter of my podcast, the soda pod, the other YouTube channel, my other, you know, hockey stuff that I do guys. He just became an exclusive member on this channel. So shout out to Sean. No, I'm five, seven white and just a little muscular. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, I just, I imagine like the biggest like neck muscles ever on you, Benjamin, Benjamin, like I, I I've seen like a profile picture of you before on Twitter. So like, I, I, I kind of know what you look like, right. Just based on, you know, that one picture. Um, it's weird that like all you know what I look like, and I just know like I know foul one by a blue P. I know, actually I know what foul one looks like too, actually, because I've seen your profile picture. But still, like when I think foul one, it's it's the blue P. When I think Benjamin, it's fucking Takashi Trump. Professor Chaos, it's Professor Chaos, obviously from South Park. So Sean Cosgrove. <laughs> right? Like it's it, it's funny how like yeah, like you I like you guys are obviously real people you're my homies we're, we're we're interacting here but like when i think of you guys i don't think of a human face i think of your icon emoji what a world we live in what a world we live in isha i have my favorite diet than avocado ice cream end of story Ooh, i've made avocado ice cream before i've also made avocado chocolate pudding <laughs> no joke i dated a girl in college she straight up asked me to eat that offer. I said, absolutely. Let's go. This is my new favorite pudding. <laughs> Hopefully my mom wasn't tuning in for that one. Love you, mom. Uh, for Bobby Orr, baby. Bobby Orr, one of the greatest hockey players of all time. I'm still a little pudgy, so I don't have a six-pack. I got a four-pack right now. Waiting for that final, that final pudge to fade. All right. Main event of the evening. What a what a contrast of a live stream, by the way. For those who joined us earlier for the Bellator stream, what a contrast of a live stream. I love that I got to experience both of them today. Like the crazy hardcore 250 odd people in the live chat really just dissecting the fight, getting mad at me whenever I'm not talking about the fight to now. Just super chill. We're all just hanging out here, sipping on some wobbly pops or not. Or just sipping on some coffee if you're Benjamin and hanging out here watching some fights. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Every single one of you who's joined us tonight. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We do live fight companions every single week and we will be back tomorrow morning. That's right, morning. 8.30 Pacific time. 11.30, I believe, uh, Eastern. UFC. All right, main event of the evening is next year on BKFC. And this just rolled by. We're Two hours and se so if we would have started at the prelims, we would only be three hours into this event. We're two hours and 17 minutes into the main card. Oh, I'm doing the Kamehameha. By the way, I've been re-watching Dragon Ball Z. Is Soto the third? Soto third, four and oh in the promotion. Uh good John, four and two. Let's just quickly take a look at them. Tony Soto again, folks. Tony Soto, Tony Loco Soto is Four and O oh in BKFC round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And already a knockdown, a quick knockdown looked more like a slip by Soto's opponent here. Good John. Good John in the red corner. Soto in the blue. Dirty boxing here. Some nice shots by Good John. Good John's already cut. Left eye. Tyler Good John out of England. He's 31 years old. 13 and 5 pro boxer. Lost his last two BKFC fights. He's four and two in the promotion. He's on a two fight losing streak. He won his first four, lost his last two. I'm going with Soto, ladies and gentlemen, locking it in. That's my final pick of the evening. Round one, I'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. One minute into this first round, Soto 
tripped and fell backwards. It didn't count as a knockdown. Soto landed a couple of good shots and John or good John, which what a name, good John already bleeding on his right side and knows, Oh, covered in blood. Straight left jab by Soto is landing all day. Every day. Love the shorts that both of these guys are wearing. Nice left hand by Soto. Good. John landed a good right there, but Soto landing the better shots. His knuckles are covered in blood. Good. John is covered in blood. Oh, uh, that's really cool. BJJ is very humbling. I love it. I love it. Can you imagine being seven foot dude? I'm like five, eight max. So no, I can't. It's crazy. I used to make chocolate pudding from avocado as well. It's so good. It's so good. Life is good. JD life is better. Now that you're in the chat, brother, a nice left hook by good. John 10 seconds left in this first round. Soto beautiful striking on good. John there. Nice right hand by Good John Soto, not wearing a lot of damage yet, but Good John with some nice shots to the body. And that's it for the first round, folks. Wow. Wow. Well, my Leafs lost. And let's be honest, we were doing it for Borge. I picked out on five uh, Bavarian cream donuts yesterday, and now I want to die. Oh, that sounds amazing. Lunatic Leaf Media, by the way, how did you find us? I'm curious. I'm very excited to have you here. You're a Leafs fan from the United States. You only watch a little bit of combat sports, yet you're watching. You're not even watching. You're hanging out with us while we are watching BKFC. I just want to say thank you so much for giving us your time here. We love having you part of this little fight community that we're building. And I, and I speak on behalf of the rest of the crew here, but I think I'm confident in speaking on behalf of the rest of the group here saying that we love having you part of this stream, buddy. Ooh, that sounds so good. All right, round two. Doctor, looking at Good John right now as he's cut up pretty bad and his left eye is pretty swollen. Soto did this much damage in the first round. How crazy is that, folks? How crazy is that? Dude, that is amazing. That is amazing. I hope that you get to watch UFC with us tomorrow, buddy, as we'll be streaming that for six hours straight. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock here. Second round has begun, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful left hooks, uppercuts. Soto striking is so good. Soto, like... He knows this sport so well. Oh my goodness. Look at these strikes from Soto, man. Dodging the strikes of Good John. Good John pushes Soto away out of the clinch there. I think Good John is just a little bit upset here that he's getting absolutely pieced apart by the undefeated Soto and BKFC and Good John on a two fight losing streak in the promotion as well. Good John, six fights in BKFC. That's crazy, man. And Good John with a nice right hand there. Finally, Good John. Laying some hard shots on Soto. Soto definitely won that first round here, folks. Soto doing a good job in the second round as well. But Good John finally find, finding his footing a little bit. Connecting here. Beautiful counter left. Oh, a nice left and right by Good John lands on Soto. It only takes one in this promotion, folks. It only takes one. Early card tomorrow. Yes, indeed. I like it too. I like it because we can stream a little top rank boxing in the evening as well. Does long hair or beards ever get caught on anything? Seems like they would. In fighting? Uh, there's nothing really for it to get caught on. So I would say no. Doesn't Vancouver have marine weather as I know about as the climate? Well, yeah, so Vancouver, very much rainy, but Vancouver Island, about two hours west, is very much rain for So a lot more windy because it's on an island, so not like 20 days straight of rain. And Vancouver Island is officially a rain forest, so more of a rain forest type of climate. And Vancouver is very much like gets 30 straight days of rain in the winter versus any snow at all sort of thing. So kind of like Seattle, just a little in like Washington area, just a little bit less wind, I would say, is Vancouver, unless you're right like on the water, Vancouver. Um, but Vancouver Island, which is, again, about two hours, an hour and a half ferry ride east, 
I mean, yeah, your winters are going to be wet, but there's a lot of wind on that island, so you can get rain, wind, sun, all in like the same day sort of thing. I love Vancouver Island. I call it the Hawaii of Canada because it still is like, it's a little bit, it's colder than Hawaii, but you can still surf there, still West Coast. Surrounded by that beautiful Pacific Ocean. All right, BKFC. Third round, ladies and gentlemen. Final fight on the card. BKFC ring girls again on our rating here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. And especially in this chat, because I know Foul One was chiming in as well. KSW and BKFC. Cream of the crop as far as ring girls go. Let's get it on! UFC's up there too. Let's let's show them some love. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock here. And again, Soto just looks more comfortable and more skilled in his striking. Good, John. Landing some good strikes with respect to him as well. Obviously wearing a ton more damage. His face got absolutely mauled in that first round. And he's still taking that straight left jab and right uppercut at the end of Soto's combo all day, every day. 30 seconds into this for er, third round, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock now. They clinch. Good body shot. I will say, good John is throwing some good body shots when they're in the clinch. Habib disapproves. <laughs> of the hair and beard, yes. Uh, I don't think they hate the Oilers. They don't love them. Vancouver traditionally has more of a rivalry with the Flames, but like Vancouver, they're always like the little, they're like the, the sole team from BC versus the two teams from Alberta. So it's always kind of like BC versus Alberta. I would say that despite the Canucks bullying Calgary, um, more so than not in the last, let's say like 20 years, um, I would say that Vancouver and Calgary have more of a rivalry than Vancouver and Edmonton. Maybe that's changing. I would say that they're not a fan of the Oilers, but I don't, I don't think they hate the Oilers as much as they hate the Leafs. And a takedown there by Soto in that exchange after the clinch. 24 seconds left on the clock here, and the doctor is looking at Good John's face, says he's okay to continue. They will continue. 24 seconds left in this third round. A nice left hand by Soto. Soto now really swinging. It looks like Soto's cut now. Left cheek under the left eye. Both these guys, both these warriors wearing some damage here. Looks like there's a little clash of heads there. Looks like there was a little bit of a clash of heads there. They clinch. The official tells them to separate. Final seconds of this round and this round is over we are going in to the fourth round ladies and gentlemen and you know what it's only fitting and i say this in a reverent manner it's only fitting that the main event of the evening of bkfc also goes the distance but it's more of a war you know what i mean because the only other fight we saw on this card that went the distance Less of a war. Now, the women, they're fighting B BKFC. Like, they obviously went to war. But this is a fucking war, ladies and gentlemen. There's 10 times more blood in this fight than there was in that other one, right? So it's only fitting that the main event of the evening gives us a ton of time, a ton of fight time, rather than a quick TKO like we've been seeing throughout this entire event. Because there's only been one other fight on this card that has gone the distance and knock on wood. This fight has not gone the distance yet. We're just going into the fourth round. All right, fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all! Knuckle up, as they say, in this promotion. Yeah, Toronto's uh, rivals, Montreal, Boston, Ottawa. Yeah, the Canucks never really had a rival. They had playoff rivals, so I would say that the Canucks, like, and the Blackhawks were a rival for a little bit, for like a, a, a portion of history. And then historically, it's been the Flames and the Oilers. Oh, beautiful shots by Good John as he walks in on Soto. I think Soto won the first and second round. I think Good John won that third round. Let's see how the fourth round goes here. They should make a sport just like this, but with hand covering so they don't, go, so they don't get cut so much. Yeah, it's... So wouldn't it just be, at, at that point, would it just be kickboxing, though? Or I guess boxing with MMA gloves? Oh, 
And Good John with some nice body shots, a nice right hand by Good John. Good John now starting to get the better of Soto. Soto starting to fade. Soto slowing down here. His timing is slow, but he still lands two good shots on Good John. 45 seconds left in this fourth round. <laughs> no can do, Anthony, but thank you so much for joining. 35 seconds left in this fourth round. They clinch. Soto's mouthpiece fell out. Oh, no, it was uh, Good John's mouthpiece that fell out. My apologies. They knuckle up. 28 seconds on the clock here. Nice right hand followed by a left hook by Soto. Soto lands another left hook. Beautiful left hook there. A left and a right by Soto. Tried to land another third shot there with the left hand. Doesn't land. He clinches up here, and we are going into the fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen. I meant just boxing. Uh, who's cut in the face? Anthony. Um, right now, Good John is very much cut up. By the way, Anthony, jump over to YouTube, buddy. Jump over to YouTube. We don't usually stream on Facebook and Twitch. They are our backup platforms, but we streamed on them last week, so we wanted to make sure that all the new viewers who joined us last week uh, realized and that we reminded them that YouTube is our primary streaming spot. We will be streaming every weekend, as we always do, buddy, on our YouTube channel, The City Life Project. So migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat, Anthony. Right now, Good John is cut the fuck up. Soto destroyed and mangled his face in the first round. I have Soto winning the first round, the second round, and the fourth round. Good John I have winning the third round. Anthony, thank you so much for joining El Nino. What do you think about Game Bears MMA Bear Knuckle Style venue? I love it. I love it as well. Shout out to Roy Country Nelson, who got a win in that promotion as well. Fucking love Roy Country. Big country, Roy Nelson. I wonder if the Leeson Bruins fans can speak French since their rival is Montreal. Round, oops, sorry. Round five, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth and final round. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Final round on this card. Final fight. Main event BKFC for 42. You all are amazing. Let's get into it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, folks. Je parle français, by the way. Lunatic Leaf Media. Beautiful counter right hand by Good John. Body shot by Good John. Clinching is Soto. Soto outstriking Good John 176 to 67. I repeat, Soto is outstriking Good John. 176, what did I say? To fucking 60-something. Soto with a beautiful left uppercut. Soto trying with the uppercut again. A counter right by Good John. Center of the ring. Good fight here, guys. Good fight. Right hand by Soto. Left hand by Soto. 50 seconds. Final minute of this fifth round. Main event, BKFC 42, ladies and gentlemen. Official tells him to break. This ref has uh, ref UFC fights before. I I recognize him. Beautiful right hand by good John Soto, though. Just even though Soto's tired, his combos are so crisp and clean. I'm actually really impressed with Soto. I think I've seen him fight before in this promotion. So impressed with his combos here. 20 seconds left in this fifth round. Nice counter right by Good John and a counter left hook by Good John. 15 seconds of good. I mean, this round is fuck, man. This round is close. Final 10 seconds and they're swinging in the clinch here. The official separates them. Do we have any more time left on the clock? And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these guys put their hands up to the audience. What a tremendous, beautiful savage fight that was guys what a main event i'm about to cry that was so beautiful we asked for violence we got violence in that main events five rounds mangled faces look at good john dude you can't even recognize this motherfucker and you know what soto starting to swell from his left eye and cut a little bit as well soto hands down one oh my god look at the two cuts in between the eyes of good john i think he's gonna lose this one but this guy's a he's a freaking savage ladies and gentlemen oh my god oh my god indeed let me know who you think won this one i think soto 
goes five and zero, oh, ladies and gentlemen. I think Soto is going to continue to be undefeated in this promotion. John or good John, if you want to call him God, John Good. Good John, I think, is unfortunately going to go to four and three, but an absolute savage nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way we're going to like a sudden death victory here. Soto three has won this fight. Man, those are nasty cuts. Those are nasty because good display of respect by both these guys as they embrace here. What a war that was, ladies and gentlemen. What a war that was. Shout out to everyone who joined us live here on this channel. You guys are amazing. If you don't know, now you know. We give everybody who commented in the live chat a shout out before the end of the stream. Mark Stone is so intense. I love Mark Stone. He's one of my favorite hockey players. Maybe I know any French words, but I think French Canadian is different. Might be wrong. French Canadian is a little bit different than France French. Even our swear words are a little bit different. Um, in Quebec, all the swear words have to do with like the church, whereas I believe in France they have to do with animals and politics. Thanks to the party stream till tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night, Jules. Thank you so much for joining as always. All right, 48, 47. Tabernacle that this. And still undefeated, <laughs> Soto, the third, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Soto, unanimous decision, 5 and Owen oh, BKFC. Guys, I know this is BKFC. A lot of you are rolling your eyes. You're like, whatever, this is just a spectacle. Five fucking wins in a row in this promotion, undefeated in this promotion. That is a tremendous accomplish accomplishment. Shout out to Tony Soto here. This is unbelievable. What an absolute dominant performance. And he just yells, are you not entertained? Lopez, yes, local baby. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> He dominated that fight, buddy. He dominated that fight. Uh, Benjamin, little unknown fact. He's also undefeated in BKFC. Give me a title shot. Wearing the crown. Is Soto not the champion? Give this guy a title shot. Give this guy a title shot. Giving praise to his opponent, saying he has an amazing story. He's a good fighter, but tonight was my night. Is he calling out his next opponent? Oh my goodness. He just called out his next opponent, who was in the corner of Good John, and the guy who he called out was just like, you know you lost this fight. Everyone, oh my goodness, this guy that he called out is just rallying him on the mic. He's saying everyone's booing because they know you lost this fight. Guys, Soto did not lose this fight, by the way. So look at that. Calling out the champion is Soto. I love this promotion, folks. I know a lot of people think it's like some gimmicky promotion. They're like, oh, they, they, they kind of just roll their eyes and think of it as like cartoon promotion. For me, I'm just as into this as the UFC, baby. I don't care if this is the KHL Wild West of fighting. This is what I fucking love. Oh my goodness. All right, folks. We are going to start giving a shout out to everyone in the live chat before we hang up. Well, I guess there's no gloves. Before we hang out the boots for this event no problem no problem i appreciate you kaylin hey kaylin if you could do me a favor and migrate over to youtube quickly and subscribe to the channel that would be amazing we usually don't stream on facebook um but it's our backup streaming platform and sometimes we're not allowed to stream on youtube or we run into issues on youtube but youtube is our primary streaming platform so I'm going to say you're welcome. And if you want to show us a little bit of love, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we are so close to 5,000 subscribers, the City Life Project. Um, Lunatic, I have never been to one live. I've been to some regional shows, but I've never been to UFC live. 
And of course, I go home to visit a month ago, and then Vancouver gets announced in June. Crippled, what's up, crippled? Uh, Boogie two nine eight eight and Wings of Redemption is boxing this weekend on the Misfits free card on YouTube Live. First ever eight hundred pound combined boxing match. You know what? I don't know if I'm more embarrassed that that's actually happening, or crippled ham. If I'm more embarrassed that I know who both of those guys are. <laughs> Shout out crippled ham. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks and always go Leafs. Even though we lost Lunatic Leafs, Leaf Media. Thank you so much. I'm just going to say this. You're part of our community now, brother. Thank you so much for finding us. I hope to see you tomorrow for UFC and for future streams on this channel. Thank you so much, Caleb. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And maybe you'll find something that you like on this channel as we not only do fight companions, we also have vlogs, music content, and so much more. Tony, says Billy O'Neill. Hell yeah, Tony Soto with such a dominant win. Let's go. Oh, I only had uh, Good John winning the third round. I only had Good John winning the third round. I had Tony winning one, two, uh, four, and five. That first round, he destroyed him. He destroyed him. All right, folks. Uh, keep the comments coming, but I, I might not see them right away as I'm scrolling up through the live chat here. As we do on every single stream is we... I was going to say give back, but we, we don't really give back. We pay respect to everybody. We show our respect. Pay respect's a little morbid. We show our respect to everybody who commented in the live chat, starting with Marlon Z. What's up, bro? I'm back. Did Bernard and Richardson win? Uh, Richardson won. Bernard, let me see if Bernard win. I didn't watch the, the prelim, so I'm not sure if Bernard win, but Richardson won, yes. Yes, thanks for streaming this. No worries, Billy. We stream every single weekend. Folks, if you don't know, we do Fight Companions every single weekend covering all combat sports, not just BKFC, not just MMA, but also Muay Thai, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, boxing, the whole nine yards. So subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss a live stream. Bare knuckles should allow elbows. If it's already bare fists, might as well elbow some slicing. Well, they're already, they already get cut up enough. I mean... Put it this way, there is bare knuckle Muay Thai for that. There's bare knuckle Muay Thai for that. And the, the, there's so many free Thai streams on YouTube. Of Florida to win since 1996, they have advanced. Let's go, Florida Panthers. <laughs> Shout out to Lunatic Leaf Media. Shout out to Crippled Ham. Shout out to Billy O'Neill. Shout out to Marlon Zed. That's what I'm Canadian, so I say Zed. Shout out to Kalen Watson. Shout out to Renell Soto. Shout out to you, Renell Soto. Shout out to Benjamin, one of our exclusive members. Shout out to Moises Lopez. Shout out to you, Moises Lopez. Shout out to you, Jules. Shout out to you, Sean. Shout out to Sean for becoming a new member on the channel. Sean Cosgrove has become an exclusive member on the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel, Sean. Shout out to Benjamin, who became a member last week as well. Shout out to JD. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out to Professor Chaos, one of our exclusive members on the channel as well. Thank you so much, buddy, for everything you do for us here on this channel. Do, 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 do. Shout out to Foul One, former exclusive member. Absolute beauty. Shout out to you, Foul One. Thank you so much for supporting us every single stream. Shout out to Let's Go Champs. Shout out to Robert Hamilton. Do, 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 do. Shout out to do, 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 do. Diego. Shout out to you, Diego. Thank you so much for doing. Shout out to Gravedigger Jones, one of our exclusive members on the channel as well. Shout out to you, Gravedigger Jones. I appreciate you, buddy. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Don't know how to pronounce your name, but shout out to you as well. It's good to see you too, JD. I know you just dropped in every now and then in the chat, but it's good to see you as well. Shout out to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining. Brian K, Brian and Brittany. Shout out to you, Brian and Brittany. Shout out to Hockey from Home. Thank you so much, Hockey from Home, from for joining. Shout out to Habib. Shout out to Andrew B. Shout out to Francisco. And shout out to Peanuts. You all are amazing. All right. Do, 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 do. Six swing for Vegas. 
Liar, you said Dragon Ball Z earlier. Dragon Ball Z? That I was watching Dragon Ball Z? I do like Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what I'm referring to. A great night of fights. I was watching Dragon Ball Z as I was cooking dinner. Who's the hockey player who got his carotid artery cut in the middle of a hockey game? Is that the Richard Zednick? I grew up skating with Tony in Brooklyn. So stoked to see him fighting bare knuckle and undefeated. That is amazing, Billy O'Neill. That is amazing. That is amazing. I hope he gets the title shot next. Shout out to you, Billy O'Neill. Thank you so much for joining the stream and dropping that knowledge on us. That is so cool. William Knight lost his belt. Fucking William Knight. Can't even win a fight in CES. What a joke. Almost five subscribers now. Sick. Nice work. Well, thank you so much, Sean. Peace, brother. We're almost 5K subs now. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Hopefully, we can hit it by the end of this weekend. If not the end of this weekend, the end of this month. Z, not Z. I'm still in Canada mode, brother. I'm still in Canada mode. Z, indeed, American is only acceptable language. Hey, guys, I'm still getting used to Fahrenheit, okay? Bear with me. Bear with me. That's it for the stream here tonight. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Shout out to the exclusive members. Shout out to everyone who joined us on this channel. Shout out to everyone who joined us on Bellator. We will be back tomorrow morning, bright and early, folks. So brew some coffee. UFC fight night tomorrow. Almeida, Rosenstrike. And then we have some top rank boxing on ESPN later in the evening. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Diego. You are a beauty, my man. Good night, Everyone sleep well indeed. Great stream tonight. Great stream today all around with everybody. Thank you so much, Benjamin. I will see you folks tomorrow. Two streams back to back tomorrow. Until then, I say peace. Appreciate you all. You all are amazing. Like and subscribe for more Fight Companions. I will see you tomorrow for UFC. Good night, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. A great weekend of mixed martial arts. And combat sports is upon us. Excited to see you folks tomorrow. Good night. Yeah. 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 Ye